Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Immortal Villain. He becomes stronger by fighting for love. Chapter 41. Song Shanming, who had taken the elixir, grinned. He took Xiao Huan Dan, which had an excellent healing effect. After swallowing it, the feeling of being burned by the hot breath of Tianji's sword technique quickly subsided. His injured right leg also began to regain consciousness. He quickly climbed up and came to the man's side. The man sneered, looked at Qin Yi with interest, then glanced at Xu Xinren, and asked Song Shanming, is that him? Songs. Everyone knows that on the Kuiju Peak, as the seventh elder of the dripping sword Ji Yu Yanshan, he has never recruited a disciple by himself. The current disciples on Kuiju Peak are all distributed by the sect and sent to Kuiju Peak. Qin Yi is the only exception, so he can be regarded as the direct disciple of dripping sword Ji Yu Yanshan, and is completely different from other disciples. However, for a person like Dripping Sword Ji Yu Yanshan who thinks highly of himself, ordinary disciples cannot catch his eye due to his pickiness. Now it seems that Qin Yi is indeed qualified to be valued by him. It has only been less than a month since I started, and I already have the cultivation level of the foundation building stage. And it is said that the first time he touched the Enlightenment Stone, he reached the fifth layer of Qi refining and was considered an innate talent. Ji Yu Yanshan must have accepted him because he wanted him to shine and raise his eyebrows for Kuiju Peak. What a pity, what is the crime of seducing the wives and concubines of the same family? The man asked Song Shanming with a smile. Song Shanming gritted his teeth. Women should be punished by wooden horses, and men should be punished by castration. Women who do not follow the rules of women will be caught and tortured by the wooden horse. As for men, it is most simple to be castrated like eunuchs. This is the clearly stated patriarchal law of the Mingjian sect. As the saying goes, there is no rule without rules. In many aspects, the rules of the Mingjian sect are extremely strict. The man put away the photo beads, and then said to Qin Yi, Originally, I heard Shanming say that you were an eyesore, so I plan to come over and make you suffer a little, so that you can learn to be a better person in the future. But I didn't expect that you would do this. This kind of thing comes. Since you have done this kind of thing, it is not as simple as suffering. Quote. The man blew the dust off his palms. He cherished his hands very much. His fingers were so slender that they looked like a pair of women's hands. Shanming, do you still want that woman? He asked suddenly. Song Shanming said angrily. A fool who steals people just after meeting them, what am I going to do? The man nodded. Since you don't want it, forget it. In this case, if the two of them disappear, under what name should they report to the sect? Song Shanming glanced at the man and understood. This is murderous intention, and he wants to kill two people. Of course he died after being attacked by a ferocious beast. We couldn't rescue him in time, so we can only regret it. The man smiled in agreement and said, That's right, if you are attacked by a wild beast, you will die without a complete body. Shu Shinran was trembling all over at this moment. She pulled Qin Yi's sleeves tightly, her face as pale as a string that was about to break at any time. Don't be afraid. Qin Yi comforted her. She whispered from the side. He, he is Sha Ho. Sha Ho Tai. Is he Sha Ho Tai? Although this is the first time Qin Yi has met this person, it is not the first time he has heard his name. When he was at Kuiju Peak, he heard Ji Yu Yi say that among the younger generation of the famous sword sect, there were two most dazzling geniuses. The first one is Hua Yunfang, the top disciple of Shui Fengling, the first peak. The second one is Sha Haotai, the top disciple of the second peak, Luya Peak. Different from Hua Yunfang, although this Sha Haotai is not an innate talent, his cultivation speed is extremely fast. He and Hua Yunfang are about the same age, and their current cultivation level is also about the same. If it weren't for his violent and unpleasant personality, he would be the most valued person in the entire sect now. Because, with his physique, which is not an innate talent, he can cultivate to a level comparable to Hua Yunfang, which is an example and an object of learning for almost all ordinary disciples. Unfortunately, character determines everything. This person is violent, impatient, and extremely murderous. This also makes the top management of the famous sword sect have slightly lower expectations for him than Hua Yunfang. In fact, when Qin Yi saw this person for the first time, there was a description on his head that was different from others. The Chosen Son Auntie. 
This person is Hua Yunfang's destined strongest opponent in the early stage, and will be killed by the chosen son Hua Yunfang in the later stage. This Sha Haotai is actually the chosen son, but there is an inverse word after his chosen son, which means that he is a born villain. He is destined to go astray in the future, and then Hua Yunfang will completely defeat him with his image of justice. With the luck of being the chosen one, it's no wonder he can keep up with Hua Yunfang's progress. Single quote. Qin Yi observed him carefully and suddenly found a line of small characters on his head describing his realm. This student is majoring in Heavenly Demon Dao, using human hearts as sacrifices, and his progress is very fast. His current state is Gold Core Basic Accomplishment State. It turns out that he practices the Demon Dao technique. No wonder he is so fast that he can even catch up with Hua Yunfang. Single quote. After mastering these detailed information, Qin Yi asked Xu Xin to retreat, preferably deep inside. Once something is done here later, the cave will be unstable and may collapse at any time, with huge rocks falling down. Xu Xinren is not a coy woman. Although she is traditional, she is very smart. She knew that staying would only hinder her. At this moment, Qin Yi did not show the slightest fear, but instead had a sense of confidence on his face. Xu Xinren didn't know why he was still so confident at this time, but out of the love for him in her heart, she absolutely believed in him. This Sha Haotai is at the Gold Core Basic Accomplishment level, sir, you. She hesitated. The other party made it clear that they would not let them go. Since they won't let him go, it's useless for the two of them to plead for mercy. It's okay, you hide in the back first. Qin Yi waved his hand. Xu Xinren hesitated for a moment, then stood on tiptoes again and kissed him on the face. Because her kiss had given Qin Yi strength before, so at this time she felt that she could only help him in this way. Thank you, I feel strong again. Qin Yi smiled slightly, and was a little surprised. After Xu Xinren finished the kiss, she hurriedly ran deep into the cave. Woman, Song Shanming couldn't see this. When death was imminent, that woman actually dared to break the rules of women and kiss Qin Yi. Senior brother Shaho, I want this man named Qin to die miserably. Don't worry, since I agreed to help you, I won't give up halfway. In short, after today, there will no longer be Qin Yi in this world. Sha Haotai looked at his slender hands, and suddenly the nails on his ten fingers stretched crazily. Each one is about half a foot long and exudes a cold light. At the same time, the aura of gold core realm spread, and the strong air pressure made the entire cave tremble. Qin Yi also suddenly felt that the gravity on the ground seemed to have increased tenfold in an instant. His feet suddenly sank into the soil on the ground, and his shoulders seemed to be weighed down by hundreds of kilograms of weight. Is this the pressure of the gold core period? It is indeed very strong. Single quote. The villain in the gold core realm world, and Hua Yunfang's destined enemy. He and Hua Yunfang will have an earth-shattering battle in the later stage. And such a character must have many glorious moments before he rises. On the road to rise, it must be unstoppable and unstoppable. If he were an ordinary character, he would probably kill him here in a matter of minutes. And after being killed by him, he will not have a good reputation. But what a pity. After all, Qin Yi is the person selected by the system. If you want to decide who is stronger, the son of the system or the son of destiny, there is no doubt that the system is naturally stronger. The child of destiny is blessed with luck and luck, and has all kinds of adventures. The son of the system is within himself, and he can get what others dream of from the system. Whether it is efficiency or energy, it is much better than the son of destiny. However, it was just a coincidence that I got three nascent soul experience cards. Once those three nascent soul experience cards are used, he will instantly have the strength of the nascent soul realm. Being able to get these three cards was also thanks to getting 100 points of favorability from Shu Shinran. It seems that if you want to be foolproof in the future, you have to fight for love more often. Single quote. Only by fighting for love can he get more benefits from the system. With more benefits, he will not be afraid of emergencies like this. The Gold Core Realm world is really amazing. Song Shanming was behind Sha Haotai. When Sha Haotai's momentum was released, there was an indiscriminate sense of oppression. Even he was slightly stooped under the pressure of this momentum. It is no wonder that some elders say that everyone below the immortals is just an ant. 
a master in the gold core realm world has such tyrannical pressure. If an immortal were present, I am afraid that the nascent soul master would have to prostrate on the ground and not dare to raise his head. Sha Tai looked at his ten fingers. The nails were as sharp as swords. This was also his special skill. The heavenly demon heart-killing sword derived from heavenly demon Dao. Shaho Tai also learned the five elements swordsmanship from the famous sword sect, but since he obtained the heavenly demon Dao, he believed in his heart that the power of the heavenly demon heart-killing sword is even greater than the five elements swordsmanship from the famous sword sect. You said that his Tianji swordsmanship has reached the level where nine stars flash together. Shaho Tai moved his five fingers, and his nails made a sharp buzzing sound. Song Shanming. Yes, this boy's secret swordsmanship is already quite accomplished. Very good. Sha Haotai suddenly had murderous intent in his eyes, and a blue halo spread out from his finger. He pointed a finger, and a ray of light struck Qin Yi on the spot. Qin Yi didn't dare to trust him. If he used his own cultivation to fight against him, he would definitely be killed on the spot. Therefore, after sensing Sha Haotai's power, he already had the nascent soul experience card in his hand. Each nascent soul experience card only has a 10-minute time limit. In order to follow the principle of no waste, Qin Yi did not use it immediately from the beginning. Now that Sha Ho Tai has taken action at this moment, it's time for him to use it. Confirm to use. After he pressed the nascent soul experience card hard and confirmed the use with the system, a surge of boundless mana flowed into his dantian. If his dantian was just like a pond just now, now it suddenly became an entire west lake. Pond and west lake, one is in the sky and the other is on the ground, the difference between the sky and the abyss, the cloud and the mud. With the blessing of this power, the ray of light ejected by Sha Tai was originally very murderous in Qin Yi's eyes, and it carried endless edge. But looking at it now, the light became slower and fainter. It's like a 100 watt light bulb that suddenly became 5 watts. He felt something in his heart, and he just flicked his sleeves, and a blast of Gang Chi suddenly opened, shattering the light that came towards him into little stars. After using the Nascent Soul Experience card, you will immediately enter the Nascent Soul Experience period. I am now quite a master of Nascent Soul. Um, after Sha Tai finished his attack, he saw that Qin Yi not only did not die, but also dispersed his attack. He frowned immediately, looking quite surprised. If Hua Yunfeng had just blocked his attack, then he wouldn't be surprised, because Hua Yunfeng has such strength. But Qin Yi, a mere monk in the foundation building stage, could actually stop him. Song Shanming also found it incredible, but he soon thought of the reason. Senior brother Shaho, this guy must have an extraordinary treasure on his body. If it wasn't a treasure, how could Qin Yi block the attack just now? A person like Qin Yi who is rising fast must be regarded as a proud disciple by dripping sword Ji Yu Yanshan in Kuiju Peak. Since he is a proud disciple, Ji Yu Yanshan will definitely not let him die easily. It is natural to give him some magic weapons. I see. Sha Ho Tai felt justified. No matter what the treasure is, it will be mine soon. As soon as he said these words, Sha Ho Tai's body was like lightning, and he shot forward with five fingers, poking Qin Yi's heart directly. Purple black mist lingered around him, which was the aura of Heavenly Demon. Since Sha Haotai obtained Heavenly Demon Dao three years ago, he gave up practicing the unique skills of the famous sword sect and switched to Heavenly Demon Dao. Now, on some occasions on the surface, he still uses the famous sword sect special skills, but behind the scenes, every time he uses it, he uses Heavenly Demon Dao skills. Heavenly Demon Dao is a heavy attack, both violent and bloody. With the same moves, Heavenly Demon Dao is more domineering and crazy. Die, Heavenly Demon Piercing. If the five fingers emitting a cold light stab Qin Yi, Qin Yi's body will explode directly and turn into a pile of minced meat. Sha Ho Tai has long been proficient in this move, and he has also used this move to kill hundreds of people's hearts. Choke, definitely dead. Song Shanming grinned and opened his eyes wide, preparing to witness Qin Yi's death. Seeing Sha Haotai's five fingers tearing apart the Gang Chi in front of Qin Yi, he was about to get close to Qin Yi's chest when suddenly Qin Yi's right hand came out from the air and pinched Sha Haotai's wrist. At the same time, Qin Yi's fingers burst out with secret force, crushing his hand bones completely in just an instant. The creaking sound is extremely crisp. 
Sha Haotai felt a heartbreaking pain in his hand. When he tried to pull his hand out, he found that no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't pull it out. His other hand suddenly thrust forward. Qin Yi once again grabbed his left hand from the air, only holding his wrist. As soon as he held it, he crushed his hand bones. The crisp crunching sound came to mind again. Ah! Sha Ho Tai was furious and roared wildly. Song Shanming felt a little strange when he saw this situation. Qin Yi, on the other hand, suddenly frowned, grabbed Sha Ho Tai's hands and broke them hard, actually breaking off both of Sha Ho Tai's hands. Blood spurted out from Sha Ho Tai's pulse point on the spot. Is it amazing if you were in the gold core stage? Who gave you the courage to act presumptuously in front of me when you were in the gold core stage? If it's pretentious, Qin Yi feels that he is still qualified to say it now, at least within 10 minutes. You open and close your mouth to want me to die, but who will die now? Qin Yi stared at Sha Haotai. He was not the kind of idiot who liked to talk too much and give the other party a chance to counterattack. As soon as he broke off Sha Haotai's hands, he hit Sha Haotai on the forehead with his palm, smashing Sha Haotai's head to pieces like a watermelon. The generation of the chosen son, Counterattack did not die in the hands of the chosen son, Hua Yunfang, but died in advance in the hands of Qin Yi. You, you. When Song Shanming saw this scene, his feet were frightened. You must know that Sha Haotai is a master in the Gold Core Realm world. In the entire famous sword sect, he is the only one among the younger generation who can possess the Gold Core Realm world. Other Gold Core masters are basically at the elder level. In terms of realm, Sha Ho Tai is fully qualified to be an elder. And such a master, at this moment, was smashed to pieces by the new disciple of Kweju Peak who had just started training less than a month ago, and died suddenly on the spot. How could, how could this have happened? Song Shanming felt as if he had seen a ghost, frantically trying to crawl out. But the fear that struck his bones made his legs lose all feeling. He could only drag his upper body and crawl on the ground with his hands, trying to climb out. But how could Qin Yi let him run away? Come here. Qin Yi used the power of Yuanying Realm to grab Song Shanming from the air. Don't you want to kill me? Why do you just run away now? Qin Yi patted his face. Song Shanming's legs trembled with fear, and liquid gurgled from his crotch, don't kill me. I, I don't want that fool anymore, I'll give it to you, I'll give it all to you. I don't know anything, I won't say anything, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Song Shanming fell to the ground and kowtowed to him vigorously. Qin Yi looked at his low posture and sneered in his heart. As the saying goes, if you kill a snake, you will be harmed by it. As a person, he has always believed in only one principle, that is, don't make enemies. Once you make enemies, you will fight to the death. Sparing the Holy Mother's heart and forgiving your opponent will definitely make you disgusted in the future, and even make you regret it. Anyway, there is no benefit in keeping the opponent, there is no harm in killing the opponent. If that's the case, why keep it? Shinrin is my woman, do you need to give in? You should also go with Sha Ho Tai. Qin Yi raised his hand and struck Song Shanming's head with a bang. After the two men were killed, Qin Yi dragged their bodies together and plundered them. There was nothing good on Song Shanming's body, but a black skull ring was found on Sha Hao Tai's body. When he put this black skull ring on his hand, he immediately felt a black energy dormant in the ring. If you penetrate this ring with your spiritual consciousness, you can still see a white skeleton sitting cross-legged inside. There seemed to be life in the white bones, and Qin Yi's consciousness was sensed by it as soon as he penetrated into it. It raised its head and looked at each other, then let out a weird smile. It's rare, it's rare, to be able to kill Sha Ho Tai. Young man, you can do it. Since this ring falls into your hands, are you willing to accept this demon? Venerable's inheritance. Demon venerable inheritance. Thinking about it, it should be the heavenly demon way method. TCH, heavenly demon Tao, if you practice heavenly demon Tao, you will become like Sha Ho Tai, with nails as long as that, and I don't want it. Even if he is very strong, Qin Yi doesn't like this Daotong because he is too ugly. Immediately, he took off the ring, snapped it, and crushed it on the spot. After the ring was broken, a wailing sound came from the space of the ring, and then a thick smoke came out and dissipated in the blink of an eye. There is no doubt that the remaining soul of Demon Venerable remains in that ring. 
whoever gets this ring and accepts its inheritance will become his messenger. Make all preparations for his resurrection in the future. As the son of the system, how could Qin Yi value the demon Dao inheritance? In addition to this ring, Sha Haotai also has many spiritual stones and elixirs on his body. As a person who is as famous as Hua Yunfang in the famous sword sect, he will definitely have a lot of resources. After taking these benefits, Qin Yi burned the two corpses together. Under the burning power of nascent soul, the two corpses were quickly burned to ashes. In order not to let herself be a drag, Xu Xinren ran deep into the cave and found a secret place to hide. She didn't see what happened outside. After Qin Yi rested for a while, he went in and found her. Xu Xinren followed him outside tremblingly, but she never saw Sha Haotai and Song Shanming again. Ms. Sir, where are they? Qin Yi didn't lie to her, and pointed to the ashes on the ground, here, these are their ashes. Xu Xinren was startled, and then stayed in disbelief for a while, Ms., you, did you do it? Well, thanks to your kiss, it gave me strength again, so I can explode. Xu Xinren smiled sadly. The first time Qin Yi said this, she believed it. But the second time, and he killed a master like Sha Haotai, even if she was a woman in love, she would still notice something strange. My husband's level should be very high, right? Seeing her expression of despair, Qin Yi immediately hugged her into his arms. No matter how high my level is, you are my woman. No matter what happens in the future, I will not abandon you. With that said, he gave Sha Haotai all the trophies he found on her body. Except for a storage bag, which he kept for himself, he gave everything else to her. Xu Shinran suddenly received a lot of elixirs and spiritual stones, and her expression became dull again, Miss Sir, you, give them all to me. Of course, I said that from now on, I will take care of your cultivation resources. Who makes you my woman? Xu Shinran's eyes turned red when she heard this. These resources were not a small amount of resources. For a disciple like her, it is impossible to obtain these resources even if she works hard in the sect for ten years. Among these elixirs, there are Great Return Pill, Qi Gathering Pill, and Foundation Building Pill. And it's all calculated by the bottle. With these resources, it can be said that even if she does not go on missions in the future, she will not have to worry at all. And these are equivalent to luxury cars and sports cars in later generations. After a man gets a woman, he gives her a mansion and a sports car without saying a word. It is impossible to say that she is not moved. After comforting Xu Xinren, Qin Yi took her out of the cave. His original plan was to take Xu Xinren out of the mountains first and let her live alone in a small town near the Mingzhan sect. But the situation is different now. Since Song Shanming and Sha Haotai are both dead, she doesn't have to worry about the future. After returning to Zhanzong, it will be more convenient for Qin Yi to meet her for private meetings in the future. So, they left the mountain range from the original road. As soon as they reached the periphery, a beautiful figure ran forward and said, Qin Yi, you finally came out. I have been waiting for you for a long time. A girl said with a slightly complaining tone. It's Ji Yu Yi. Xu Xinren was affectionate and very close to Qin Yu Rou when no one was around, but now when she met outsiders, she immediately distanced herself from Qin Yi. Deep down in her heart, she still believed that she was Song Shanming's Taoist companion in name only, and she was not in harmony with Qin Yiming. Ji Yu Yi is from Kweju Peak and is Qin Yi's official junior sister. It is natural for the two of them to be close. Instead, she was caught in the middle, a bit like an outsider. Hey, senior sister Xu, you're out too, have you got all the materials? Ji Yu Yi Yi was surprised to see Xu Xinren following Qin Yi. Yeah, Xu Xinren didn't say much, she just responded and hurried away to avoid suspicion. It's great, we all searched so fast this time. In the past, we couldn't find all these materials within four or five days. Ji Yu Yi Yi smiled and looked towards the mountains and forests, now only junior brother Miao Shoufeng is left. I don't know if he has found them all. As people who came out together, in terms of the friendship between teachers and sects, they should be waiting to go back together. But if it doesn't wait, it doesn't matter. It's not mandatory after all. Do you want to wait for him? Xu Shinren asked. She was thinking about something and felt somewhat guilty, so now she just wanted to go back quickly. Qin Yi didn't care and looked at Ji Yu Yi. Ji Yu Yi thought for a moment, 
how about waiting a little longer? If his materials can't be gathered together, we won't be able to complete the task just with the materials we have. Task materials are handed in as one set. If everything is not put together, it is not completed. So, the three people waited here for more than two hours. I thought it might take a day or two to get him out. But when night fell, Miao Shoufeng finally came out of the mountains in a state of embarrassment. He hurried outside, grinned, and said happily, Senior brother Chin, Senior sister Ji Yu, and Senior sister Shu, I have found them all. When we arrived, there were four people. When we went back, there were also four people. All the materials for the four people were put together, and there was no shortage of them. On the way back, Miao Shoufeng was still driving the willow leaf boat. After returning to the sect, everyone went to the mission pavilion to hand in the mission. After recording it in the mission pavilion, they will be able to receive certain training resources by the beginning of next month. However, when handing in the task, Qin Yi ran into Hua Yunfeng again. He was in the mission pavilion, learning how to make medicine with the medicine refining elder. When Qin Yi and others sent the materials, the alchemy elder looked happy and told him, Yunfeng, all your materials are ready. The fire salamander bones this time are very good. Those disciples found them in the past. Fire salamander bones are around five years old at most. These three sets of fire salamander bones are at least ten years old. Use these three sets of bones to refine medicine, the better the effect. Quote, Thank you very much, uncle. Hua Yunfeng bowed his hand and thanked him. You are the hope of the sect's future. The leader has already said that all resources will be provided to you first, so you don't have to thank me. This is what you should do. The elder of the alchemist twisted his beard and smiled. During the process of handing over the task, Hua Yunfeng also saw Ji Yu Yi. He greeted Ji Yu Yi with a smile, but Ji Yu Yi was no longer as kind to him as before. When he greeted Ji Yu Yi, Ji Yu Yi instinctively glanced at Qin Yi, as if she was afraid that Qin Yi would be unhappy, so she didn't respond, just nodded, and then stood next to Qin Yi. Hua Yunfeng couldn't help frowning when he saw that this little junior sister who used to always cling to him was now so unfamiliar with him, Yi Yi, why are you hiding from me? Ji Yu Yi then forced a smile. Hello, senior brother Hua, I don't want to disturb senior brother Hua, so I didn't say hello. You're making a fool of yourself by saying that. Hua Yunfeng smiled. The medicine refining elder even twisted his beard and said with a smile, Little girl Yi Yi, at this time in the past, I would always come here to pester you, but now I don't come. It seems that I have grown up and am now shy. Hua Yunfeng smiled. Although he and Ji Yu Qingxuang were recognized as Taoist companions by everyone, in his heart, he still couldn't bear to part with the beautiful little junior sister Yi Yi. As a son of destiny, what he wants is for his sister to be together. But at present, the situation dictates that he must first capture Ji Yu Qingxuang, and wait until his level has improved again before he can ask for Ji Yu Yi again. After all, Ji Yu Qingxuang is the daughter of the head of the family. After he and Ji Yu Qingxuang become Taoist couples, he will be the legitimate heir to the future head of the family. At that time, as the head of the family, with three wives and four concubines, and a pair of sisters, who can say anything? The people in the mission pavilion were all smiling happily at this time. They often make similar jokes. If it were in the past, Ji Yu Yi would have blushed, then stomped away. But this time, she was extremely nervous. She kept looking at Qin Yi and took the initiative to pull Qin Yi's sleeves, as if to stop Qin Yi from thinking too much. He was the only one in her heart now. Of course Qin Yi knew her heart, so he patted the back of her hand to signal her not to be nervous. However, this intimate gesture was finally captured by Hua Yunfeng. The smile on Hua Yunfeng's face disappeared in an instant, and then he looked at Qin Yi with a slightly cold look. This is Qin Yi, junior brother Qin, right? I'm very fond of these three sets of fire salamanders you found. Satisfied and hope you will keep up the good work. Qin Yi was fine at first, but after hearing this, he suddenly felt uncomfortable. How dare you work so hard to get these materials back for Hua Yunfeng to use? Although these materials are not exhausting, they are still found by him after traveling thousands of miles. Hua Yunfeng didn't do anything, so the sect gave him priority. This is really irritating. Hua Yunfeng's words were neither cold nor hot, but in fact, these seemingly polite words contained two meanings. 
The first level of meaning is that he calls me junior brother, which means that I am senior brother. You should know that, Chief Dao Venerable, I would like to express my gratitude. The second meaning is that I am very satisfied with Fire Salamander Bone and I hope you will continue to work hard. Doesn't that mean you are working for me? I hope you will continue to work hard. If you say this, who can listen? So, Chin Yi suddenly moved all the materials down from the task pavilion table in front of everyone. Sorry, I won't hand in this mission. You want to be a senior brother, but I don't recognize you. You want this material, but I won't give it to you. Anyway, in the future, he will take love from Hua Yunfang for the second time. He will fall out sooner or later, it will always be a fallout. Now there is no need to follow the other party and suffer yourself. Suddenly I remembered that I can use these things myself, so I won't hand in the task. Qin Yi accepted them as he said, and swept the materials with his storage bag and collected them all. Miao Shoufang was stunned, and looked at Qin Yi and then at Hua Yunfang. Being a sensitive man, he was vaguely aware that there seemed to be some disagreement between the two. So, he smiled bitterly and said, Senior Brother Chin, if you don't hand in the task, we won't have any training resources to distribute next month. Chin Yi asked, If you hand in the task, what will you get next month? Miao Shoufang, there will be 10 qi gathering pills. Qi gathering pill is the most needed pill during the qi refining period. With this elixir, you can go through the qi refining period smoothly. At the stage of qi refining, the biggest worry is that the qi gathering in the Dantian is not going smoothly. With the qi gathering pill, this worry is no longer necessary. Isn't it just 10 qi gathering pills? I'll give them to you next month, Qin Yi said. He found several bottles of qi gathering pills from Sha Haotai's body, and he only needed to get one bottle back from Xu Xinren later. Then, that's okay. Miao Shoufang scratched his head. He just wanted the training resources for next month. Since Qin Yi agreed to give it, he had no objection. Anyway, whether it is Qin Yi or Hua Yunfang, in his eyes, if there is a conflict, it is a fight between gods. For a small character like him, it is better not to get involved. At this time, after getting the promise, he immediately said goodbye and left to take the first step. In front of everyone, Qin Yi also said to Xu Xinren, Junior Sister Xinren, I will give you your training materials next month. You should have no objection, right? Of course Xu Xinren had no objection, but in front of everyone, she still nodded politely, and then she took the first step to avoid suspicion. As soon as she left, Qin Yi and Ji Yu Yi were leaving. But Hua Yunfang's face was as dark as pig liver. Qin Yi's move was clearly a slap in his face. Stop, he suddenly shouted. Qin Yi ignored him. I told you to stop, can't you hear me? Hua Yunfang's figure flashed and suddenly came to the front of Qin Yi, blocking the road. Junior brother Qin, don't do anything stupid, leave the materials, that's what I need. Qin Yi smiled. Who do you call junior brother? You are from Shifang Ridge and I am from Kweju Peak. You are the senior brother in Shifeng Ridge, but I am also the senior brother in Kweju Peak. Why should you do it in front of me? Do you dare to call me senior brother? As soon as these words came out, there was no doubt that they were full of gunpowder. If it were any other disciple, who wouldn't be polite when meeting Hua Yunfang? With Hua Yunfang's talent and cultivation, although he is currently just a disciple, he is already qualified to become an elder. If he and Ji Yu Qingshuang have a relationship in the future, he will be the next leader. How dare Qin Yi speak to such a person like this? Gan Lu Song, the alchemy elder of the Task Pavilion, suddenly stood up and shouted, No matter how big or small, do you know who you are talking to? Qin Yi glanced at the elder and asked, Who are you talking to again? Presumptuous, elder Gan Lu Song pointed at Qin Yi. You crazy disciple, you have only been a disciple of the famous sword sect for less than a month, and you are so arrogant. Kneel down. As an elder, he is the elder. If the younger generation is unruly, he has the power and qualification to punish him. Qin Yi sneered, Who do you think you are, and why? If you want to kneel, kneel down. Even if I want to kneel, I will kneel to my own master. Who are you? Do you deserve it? Now, it was Ji Yu Yi's turn to become nervous. The famous sword sect has strict sectarian laws. Even if the alchemy elder is not the elder of Kweju Peak, he is still an elder after all. As a junior, Qin Yi, with such a tone, committed the following crime. 
if someone with intentions imposes the punishment on him, he will be unable to bear the consequences. She quickly pulled Qin Yi's sleeve and told him to stop talking. And Qin Yi also has two nascent soul experience cards on him, so now, he is really not afraid of anyone at all. After all, as long as he uses that nascent soul experience card, his strength will be stronger than the master of the famous sword sect. With such a powerful trump card, is he so scared? However, he forgot that the experience card is just an experience card after all, and it has a time limit. It wasn't until he calmed down a little that he realized that he was too arrogant. However, the arrogant words have already been spoken. It would be too embarrassing to give in at this time. Rebellion, seeking death. Gan Lu Song, the medicine refining elder, was so angry that his beard moved without wind. He suddenly opened his five fingers, and a surging force was like a giant mountain, coming to press Qin Yi. Qin Yi pulled Ji Yu Yi and involuntarily touched a nascent soul experience card in his hand. If this old immortal is really unyielding, then he doesn't mind using another nascent soul experience card and then explodes with strength and kills this old immortal into pieces and then kills Hua Yunfeng as well. Did it by the way. With the strength of the nascent soul realm, he believed that he could kill someone and then walk away calmly. However, if you do this, it will become more difficult to win over Ji Yu Qingxuang's love with a sword. It was at this moment that a sword energy suddenly flew into the sky. The light blue sword energy was like a cold crescent moon. It cut through the void and with a whoosh, it tore the palm of the alchemist elder on the spot. And the light blue sword energy, after circling in a circle, turned back on its original path. It was extremely sharp when it came, and when it returned, its sword energy expanded tenfold. Under the expansion of its sword energy, the sleeve of the alchemy elder was cut off by the sword, and a large part of his good robe was torn. Elder Gan, you are so majestic. Someone suddenly appeared. When Ji Yu Yi saw it, she shouted, Dad, in surprise. It turned out to be the dripping sword, and the seventh elder Ji Yu Yanshan came. He probably happened to pass by the mission pavilion and saw Elder Gan bullying his disciples. Naturally, he would not let it go. Ji Yu Yanshan, this disciple of yours is treasonous and immoral. As an elder, can't I punish him for the following offenses? Gan Lu Song looked at his tattered sleeves and asked, suppressing the anger in his heart. Ji Yu Yanshan glanced at him then at Hua Yunfang, and finally glanced at Qin Yi approvingly. My disciple is right, he can kneel down to the sky, kneel down, or kneel to the master, but why should he kneel to you? Who do you think you are? Ji Yu Yanshan, you. The face of the alchemy elder turned green instantly. In front of many disciples, Ji Yu Yanshan actually refused to give him face. My disciple, when will it be your turn to discipline me? If you extend your hand so long next time, my sword will no longer be so polite to you. The implication is, this time I'll cut off your sleeves. If you bully my disciple next time, I will cut off your hand. Ji Yu Yanshan, are you too arrogant? The medicine refining elder looked angry. Before Ji Yu Yanshan could answer, Qin Yi had already shouted, Arrogant. Who is arrogant? Shut up, you little beast, do you have the right to speak? The alchemist elder shouted. Qin Yi was so choked by his tone that he almost activated that nascent soul experience card and cut the immortal corpse into thousands of pieces. Ji Yu Yanshan snorted coldly. Qin Yi, tell me, if he doesn't let you say it, you insist on telling him. I want to see what he can do. Qin Yi's anger was temporarily suppressed. He said in his heart that he was indeed his future father-in-law, and his protective tone was really reassuring. There was nothing wrong here. Just now, I wanted to take back the materials I was about to hand in, but this old man and Hua Yunfang refused to let me go. This old man still wanted to attack me. It's clear that he is bullying us, Kuiju Peak. People, Qin Yi said. The word, dead old man, was very harsh to Elder Gan's ears. Elder Gan gritted his teeth and almost wanted to slap Qin Yi to death, but seeing Ji Yu Yanshan standing beside him, he did not dare to take that action after all. Ji Yu Yanshan is a dripping sword after all. A master who became famous decades ago. And he is just an elder who refines medicine. His advantage lies in refining medicine, not in martial arts. It's only natural that you get your materials back. Gan Lu Song, where do you have the nerve to stop him? Who gave you the courage to bully him? Ji Yu Yanshan shouted coldly and began to hold him accountable. 
Elder Gan's face was distorted, and he couldn't say a word for a while due to his lack of reasoning. On the other hand, Hua Yunfeng raised his hands and bowed, Uncle Ji Yu, this is not the fault of Elder Gan. In fact, it is the fire salamander bone that junior brother Chin took. I want to use it. That's why I asked him to keep the fire salamander bone. Among them, mostly a misunderstanding. Chin Yi, come on, there is no misunderstanding, and I have already said that you are the senior brother of Shifeng Ridge, and I am the senior senior brother of Kweju Peak. Why do you dare to call me senior brother in front of me? I am not you junior brother Chin, you are not my senior brother Wa. You and I can't fight each other. Besides, what does it have to do with you needing fire salamander bone? Why should I leave it to you? In fact, Chin Yi could tell as soon as Ji Yu Yanshan arrived here, he didn't seem to like Hua Yunfang very much. You can't hide your dislike for someone. When you see someone you hate, that look of disgust and disdain will show up involuntarily. When Ji Yu Yanshan first arrived, he showed this emotion when he caught a glimpse of Hua Yunfang. Since Ji Yu Yanshan doesn't like Hua Yunfang, Qin Yi will naturally fight him harder. Anyway, with his master in charge, he can now confidently defy heaven and earth. Qin Yi's words really suited Ji Yu Yanshan's heart as soon as he said them. Ji Yu Yanshan chuckled and said, Qin Yi, you are right. As long as you don't want to give it to you, no one is qualified to take it from you. In this sword sect, unless I die, as long as I am still alive, then no one can insult my disciples under my eyes. Qin Yi was very happy because his father-in-law's temper was indeed very popular. Hua Yunfeng, Uncle Ji Yu, my master told me that I can take all the medicinal materials from Task Pavilion. Ji Yu Yanshan, what does your master's explanation have to do with me? Hua Yunfeng, the fire salamander bone is old and very rare. I hope Qin Yi can keep it. Ji Yu Yanshan, Qin Yi's things will naturally be decided by Qin Yi. If he doesn't agree, then you're just stealing it. Qin Yi, how about a deal between you and me? Hua Yunfeng stopped calling him junior brother now. He was yelled at every time he called him, so he simply called Qin Yi by his name. Not interested, Qin Yi turned to Ji Yu Yanshan and said, Master, let's go back. Ji Yu Yanshan nodded, then touched his daughter Ji Yu Yi's head, waved his hand, and a breeze came, wrapping the two young people around them, and they floated away. Hua Yunfang watched them leave. What he wanted was gone in the blink of an eye, and he was extremely angry in his heart. At this time, there was a Jade Rui lying quietly in his dantian. On top of the Jade Rui, there was a woman the size of a palm sitting cross-legged. She seemed to sense Hua Yunfang's mood swings, so she whispered in the dark and asked, Yunfang, why are you angry? Hua Yunfang communicated with him with his spiritual consciousness, Sister Yu, this Ji Yu Yanshan is a bit too bullying. The woman known as, Sister Jade, smiled and said, he is just a monk in the middle stage of Gold Core. You will be able to surpass him soon. For now, you have to be calm and calm. As long as you get through this breakthrough period smoothly, when you reach Gold Core in the later stage, he won't be able to act arrogantly in front of you. That's what Sister Yu said. The famous sword sect hides a huge secret. Don't fall out with the Ji Yu family now. After you take down Ji Yu Qingxuang and become the acting head, that secret will become your adventure. As long as that time comes, no matter who the sect leader is or the dripping sword is nothing in front of you. Um, Hua Yunfang calmed down quickly after being enlightened by this woman. But the alchemy elder beside him couldn't forget what he had just been humiliated by Ji Yu Yanshan in public. He snorted and returned to the mission pavilion. It happened that other disciples came to hand over tasks. As long as Kweju Peak appeared among those disciples, he would immediately become sullen and find fault with others with a very bad attitude. This material is so bad, how dare you take it back and make amends? This yellow spring grass has changed color, what are you going to do with it? As long as they were handed over by Kweju Peak disciples, he would fight them all back. Some disciples are puzzled that this kind of stuff has been successfully handed in before. Why was it possible before but not this time? Stop talking nonsense. If this elder says no, it just won't work. Either find someone else, or get out of here. Elder Gan vented all his resentment on these Kweju Peak disciples. Hua Yunfang watched from the sidelines and did not try to persuade him. 
If there was a conflict between Elder Gan and Ji Yu Yanshan, he would be happy to see it. After stopping briefly, he left first. After Qin Yi and Ji Yu Yi were brought back to Kuiju Peak by Ji Yu Yanshan, he was called by Ji Yu Yanshan alone to a martial arts field in the inner courtyard. He knew that Ji Yu Yanshan probably had something to say to him. Qin Yi, what do you think of Wyan Peak? Ji Yu Yanshan asked this question after a brief pause. It's very annoying. I want to beat him just looking at him. Qin Yi told the truth. Ji Yu Yanshan smiled. Do you think you can beat him? Qin Yi pretended not to understand. I may not be afraid of him. Ji Yu Yanshan shook his head. Your talent is very good and your potential is very high. In time, you will indeed have the capital to compete with him. But at the moment, you are not his opponent. If he were to fight Hua Yunfang at his true level, Qin Yi would definitely not be able to beat him. But he has nascent soul experience card. Do you want to beat him? Ji Yu Yanshan asked. Think. Qin Yi nodded. In fact, he knew that when Ji Yu Yanshan called him to the backyard alone, he must have something to explain or something to give him. In terms of realm, you have to rely on yourself, but in terms of martial arts, my teacher can help you. Do you want to learn my dripping sword? Of course I do. Qin Yi deliberately showed a yearning expression. But in fact, he has no interest in either the dripping sword or the blazing sword. All martial arts skills are nothing to him. Just imagine, he owns the entire system. As long as he takes out the skills of any hero in King of Glory and turns them into martial arts, he will have hundreds of sets of first-class skills. And you can learn it once you learn it. Not only is it charming, the special effects are also very good. Is there any need to learn the dripping sword? However, after all, it was his father-in-law who said this, and he could not refuse it directly. He still had to give it to his father-in-law. Very good. After Ji Yu Yanshan finished speaking, he took out an iron sword from the weapon rack. Suddenly, a light blue spiritual power was poured into the iron sword, and he waved it casually. The light blue sword energy left a crack on a rock on the martial arts field. Do you see clearly? See clearly. Observe the momentum carried by this sword. You have to know that the supreme secret of the sword is momentum. In the world of ordinary people, sword moves are extremely variable, with the most cunning and changeable. But in the world of cultivation here, the sword moves are not too flashy, and the most ruthless killing move is often just one move. The reason why this move is powerful is because it carries momentum. I can't tell you what this potential is, you have to understand it yourself. I will give you three days. After three days, you can tell me what the trend you just saw is. Quote. With Qin Yi's full comprehension level, he could actually understand it at a glance. Is this thing still useful? Three more days. Qin Yi saw at the first glance that Ji Yu Yanshan's sword carried a sharp force, which could also be said to be a force of speed. With his extremely high understanding, Qin Yi has long known that the martial arts in the world of cultivation are so simple that they can be classified into two types of positions. Those are power of speed and power of power. In terms of speed, it is derived from sensitivity and changeability. In terms of strength, he does not believe in all evils, but only believes in defeating all laws with one force. Any martial arts skill, when spread out, cannot escape these two trends, either speed or strength, or an average of the two. Many martial arts, for the sake of balance, choose an average of the two. But the more average it is, the more mediocre it is. Those who are fast are not powerful enough. The strength is enough, but the speed is not fast. This can be regarded as everything has advantages and disadvantages, which is inevitable. Take this bottle of elixir back and swallow one pill every day. Don't let others know. After Ji Yu Yanshan finished talking about position, he handed him a pill bottle. Qin Yi took it in his hand and saw the words, Gui Yuan Dan, written on the medicine bottle. Gui Yuan pill is a treasure pill in the foundation building stage, which is equivalent to the role of qi gathering pill in the qi refining stage. And the value of this thing is a thousand times that of the qi gathering pill. It can be said that even if you work hard on tasks in the famous sword sect, you may not be able to get a Gui Yuan pill. The cost of refining this elixir is high, and the success rate is still low. But Ji Yu Yanshan actually gave him a bottle directly. Master, this, just take it if I tell you to. Don't say anything. Put away the elixir and go back to rest early. 
Ji Yu Yanshan has always acted vigorously and resolutely. After giving the explanation, he flashed here and disappeared. Qin Yi smiled and thought that this father-in-law was really interesting. Every time he finished speaking, he would disappear as soon as he finished talking. He was deeply touched by his father-in-law's kindness. If he were an ordinary disciple and was treated like this, he would definitely be moved to tears. However, as a son of the system, no matter how good the Guiyuan pill is, he can't use it. Instead of taking drugs, practicing, and working hard to break through, it's better to steal a target with a knife and be promoted to the first level directly. Single quote. He still put away the elixir. He didn't use it himself, but he could leave it to Shu Shinran. As for Ji Yu Yi, he doesn't have to worry. As Ji Yu Yanshan's daughter, how can Ji Yu Yanshan lose his daughter's share? After returning to his residence, Qin Yi suddenly remembered something. It seems that the system has said before that after successfully fighting for love, as long as you kill your ex, there will be a special reward. He killed Song Shanming, and there is a reward in the system, but he hasn't received it yet. As soon as this thought came to mind, the gentle sister Yu's voice popped up, Dear host, congratulations on successfully killing Shu Shinran's ex. You now have a special reward. Do you want to claim it? Qin Yi said angrily, If I didn't ask, would you not have planned to give it to me? Gentle Yu Jia Yin. No, the system will not deduct any rewards, but will provide the host with the option to receive them when needed. Qin Yi nodded, which is why he is quite satisfied with this system. This system is not annoying or verbose. It will only make a sound when he triggers the mission goal. At other times, it will basically not come out to disturb him. I want to receive it. After saying these four words, suddenly, a bottle appeared out of thin air in his hand. Medicine bottle. Is it also a bottle of elixir? I looked at the words on the outside of the bottle energy boosting pill. Is there such a thing? Energy boosting pills, each taken is effective for three days. Within three days, the energy is unlimited, and the tired body can be cleared of fatigue in an instant and become brave again. Good stuff. Just at this moment, Ji Yu Yi came here. Qin Yi, are you there? Qin Yi opened the door, why are you here? Ji Yu Yi pursed her lips, what did my father ask you to do just now? It was so mysterious that you didn't let me follow you. Qin Yi smiled and said, your father told me when to marry me. Ji Yu Yi's cheeks turned red from shyness, you, are talking nonsense. Qin Yi looked at her shy look and suddenly took her hand, pulled her into the room and closed the door. Immediately, he held Ji Yu Yi in his arms, don't tell me you don't want to marry me. Ji Yu Yi's heart was filled with sweetness and her face was red. She couldn't help but cover her face with her hands, you are so evil. You still ask even though you know it. Qin Yi chuckled, and without Ji Yu Yi paying attention, he quickly poured out a pill from the energy-boosting pill bottle and stuffed it into his mouth. It's just in time to experiment. Single quote. Qin Yi, you are dead. Two hours later, Ji Yu Yi trembled her legs resentfully and said angrily. Don't get up in a hurry. You can lie down and rest for a while. Qin Yi suggested. I don't want to rest here with you. Ji Yu Yi bit her lip. If she continued to stay, she might not even be able to stand up after a while. Isn't it good for me here? Qin Yi took her hand and pulled her into his arms. Ji Yu Yi was startled and jumped away quickly. Don't make trouble, I have been out for a long time. If my father finds out later, I won't be able to spare you. She stretched out her slender jade finger and poked Qin Yi on the forehead. After all, so far, her father has not betrothed her to Qin Yi, and their relationship has not been officially determined. If her father knew that she couldn't even stand up in Qin Yi's place, he might be angry to death. Well, junior sister, remember to have a good rest after you go back. You're bad. Ji Yu Yi glared at him and pouted. When her legs regained consciousness, she hurriedly opened the door and ran back. Hee <laughs> hee. Qin Yi lay on the bed and smiled, the warmth from the medicinal effect in his body was still burning at this time. Such vigorous energy is indeed extremely strong. The power of this medicine is too powerful. Now that junior sister Yi Yi is gone, how can I control the power of this medicine by myself? Or, go find junior sister Shinran. To find Shu Shinran, you have to go to the third peak, Songyun Peak. Speaking of which, I haven't visited other mountain peaks since I joined the famous sword sect. 
There are nine peaks in the Mingjian sect, and each peak is of the same lineage. Just based on the relationship between the peak masters, some are closer to each other, while others are more exclusive. For example, if his master, Dripping Sword Ji Yu Yanshan, wanted to say why he hated Hua Yunfang, Qin Yi finally knew the reason in the past two hours. During the intimacy between him and Ji Yu Yi, Ji Yu Yi revealed the reason why her father hated Hua Yunfang. In fact, the root cause is not Hua Yunfang, but Hua Yunfang's master Ji Yu Yan. Ji Yu Yan and Ji Yu Yanshan, as you can tell by their names, they are brothers of the same generation. But although they are brothers of the same generation, they are not real brothers, but cousins. The famous sword sect has always been a sect passed down through generations by the Ji-Yu family. When the old and new sect masters took over, there were originally two candidates. One is Ji-Yu Yan and the other is Ji-Yu Yanshan. When he was young, Ji-Yu Yanshan was known as the dripping sword. His talent and potential were outstanding among his peers. Compared with him, even Ji-Yu Yan was inferior. If based on ability, then the new sect leader must be Ji-Yu Yanshan. But unfortunately, when the old sect leader was choosing a new sect leader, he chose Ji Yu Yan. This choice was not because Ji Yu Yan had any merits, but because Ji Yu Yan had used some tricks back then. There was a certain mission in Ji Yu Yanshan that year, and that mission was very important. Once he completed it, he would definitely be able to secure his position as the sect leader after he came back with his merits. But by chance, someone on Ji Yu Yanhe's side let out some news saying that Ji Yu Yanshan was seriously injured during the mission and his life or death was unknown. What a coincidence that Ji Yu Yanshan's wife heard this. His wife has a deep relationship with him, so naturally she doesn't want anything to happen to him. Therefore, his wife, who was pregnant at the time, decided to take some people to the mission site to look for Ji Yu Yanshan. With this move, instead of finding Ji Yu Yanshan, she fell into the demon's trap, was chased by the demon, and was seriously injured. When the news of her injury reached Ji Yu Yanshan, Ji Yu Yanshan was naturally worried about her, so he went crazy and looked for her everywhere. In the end, the two of them wandered around outside for half a year before finally meeting each other. Unfortunately, his wife was seriously injured after being trapped by a monster, and died not long after giving birth to Ji Yu Yi outside. When Ji Yu Yanshan returned to the sect with his daughter, he found that the old sect leader had already given up his position as sect leader to Ji Yu Yan. When he first heard the news, Ji Yu Yanshan felt like the sky was about to collapse. He put in all his efforts to become the leader of the clan, even risking his wife's life. But what's the result? In the end, it was the old sect leader who gave up this position to Ji Yu Yan, who was inferior to him in everything. At that time, he couldn't help but fight with Ji Yu Yan. It's a pity that Ji Yu Yan had already received the sect master's inheritance at that time, and his strength was already above him. In that battle, Ji Yu Yanshan lost to the opponent. Feeling haunted by all kinds of shame, he wanted to kill himself at that time. But in the end, he endured it for the sake of his daughter. Later, he also thought about leaving the Mingjian sect, but his old father also persuaded him earnestly at that time, saying that the Mingjian sect was the foundation of the Ji Yu family and asked him to put the overall situation first. As the backbone of the Mingjian sect, he must not be abandoned. The famous sword sect. Since then, Ji Yu Yanshan has been depressed. He chose Kweju Peak and became the seventh elder of the sect. Although he is an elder, he never interferes with the affairs of the sect. Sect leader Ji Yu Yan felt ashamed of him and never asked him to do anything. Including the disciples who were sent to Kweju Peak, they all said that if Ji Yu Yanshan is willing to accept it, he can accept it. If he doesn't want to accept it, it doesn't matter if he drives him away. But this arrangement can also be regarded as a kind of moral kidnapping. Because those who can enter the famous sword sect have worked very hard or used many connections to get in. If Ji Yu Yanshan drives people away, wouldn't everyone hate him? Because of this, he never drove away any disciples. As long as they were arranged by the sect, he accepted them all. However, he was not so attentive when teaching these disciples. They are usually Buddhist professors, and they can learn as much as they can. After Qin Yi listened to Ji Yu Yi's story about this grudge, he realized why Ji Yu Yanshan hated Hua Yunfang. If not for anything else, just because Hua Yunfang is Ji Yu Yanhe's apprentice. 
Perhaps it was for this reason that after Ji Yu Yanshan saw Qin Yi's talent, he immediately decided to focus on cultivating him. Why is that? It's clear that he wanted to take a breath of bad breath. He asked Qin Yi to work steadily now, and he had all the training resources. The purpose is to let Qin Yi surpass Hua Yunfang in the next few years. As long as Qin Yi can surpass Hua Yun Peak in the future, those old people in the Ji Yu family who were in seclusion can open their eyes and see clearly. Ji Yu Yan was not as good as me back then, and now Ji Yu Yanhe's talented disciples are not as good as my disciples either. You old people, how did you become so blind back then? Do you see it clearly now? After thinking about it again and again, he felt that the medicine was taking effect and he was really feeling a little nervous. Qin Yi decided to go to Songyun Peak first. Even if you can't see Xu Xinren, there's nothing wrong with visiting him in the past. After leaving the side yard, he met Huang Tianrong, Ni Jianyan and others as soon as he arrived at the front yard. Huang Tianrong's face immediately darkened, and he turned his head with Ni Jianyan to avoid him. Stop, Qin Yi called them both. What are you doing? Huang Tianrong didn't look back, but said something back to him. Qin Yi, is your memory so bad? Don't you remember what you said before? Huang Tianrong gritted his teeth and clenched his hands into fists. If he hadn't known that Qin Yi had entered the realm of foundation building, he would have had another fight with him. But at the moment, after all, no one is in a better situation, and Master Ji Yu Yanshan also values Qin Yi very much. Huang Tianrong took a deep breath and suppressed all the emotions in his heart. Then, he turned back with a sneer, I've met senior brother. Ni Jianyan was stunned. He looked at Huang Tianrong in surprise. He didn't expect Huang Tianrong to actually scream. So he also shouted, I have met, senior brother. Qin Yi nodded. That's true. You have to remember it. Just call me once every time you see me. Don't always ask me to remind you. After leaving these words, Qin Yi walked away in a swaggering manner. Ni Jianyan frowned and said, This Qin Yi is too arrogant. Arrogant, humph, you can't be arrogant for much longer. Huang Tianrong said coldly. He had already told his cousin Song Shanming about Qin Yi. His cousin Song Shanming also promised that he would help him deal with Qin Yi as long as there was a chance. And this time on the mission, I heard that it was his cousin who led the team, and Ji Yu Yi and Qin Yi happened to be among the team members. I just don't know why, but his cousin somehow didn't participate, and he hasn't found anyone in the past few days. According to his guess, his cousin Song Shanming must have followed Shaho Tai on more advanced tasks. After all, his cousin was very close to Sha Hao Tai, and Sha Hao Tai was a prominent figure in the younger generation of the famous sword sect, as famous as Hua Yunfang. When my cousin comes back, I will make him look good next time. Ni Jianyan nodded, he also knew Song Shanming. Although Qin Yi has entered the foundation building stage, Song Shanming is a veteran foundation building master, and his background is much higher than Qin Yi. If he takes action, Qin Yi will definitely lose. Ni Jianyan, as the saying goes, if you want to make someone die, you must make him mad first, so let him be mad for a few days first. After Qin Yi came down the mountain, at the foot of the mountain named Zhanzong, there was a large river called Tongtian River. He didn't know what the relationship between this Tongtian River and the Tongtian River in journey to the west was. In short, this river was indeed very big, with a width of more than 400 meters. On both sides of the river, the scenery is beautiful, with mountains and mountains, and the beauty of the mountains and rivers is just like in a painting. There is a bluestone brick road more than 10 meters away on the shore. Usually there are probably few people walking there, and the moss on the road is very thick. When he looked up, he could see many people walking with swords in the air. In fact, when you reach around the fifth level of the Qi refining stage, you can try to fly with a sword, but you won't be able to fly very far. But even though they can't fly far, in order to show their abilities, those disciples in the Qi refining stage would rather not fly far than walk on two feet like ordinary people. Therefore, there are very few traces of people walking on the road under the mountain. Even if there is one, it is a very thin footprint. The scenery of several large mountains juxtaposed along the coast is different at this time. The Green Bamboo Peak is full of green bamboos. Next door, Junlin Peak is full of clivias, and the flowers are fragrant. 
A little further back is Longzong Peak, where the Yin Qi is very strong, and the mountains and plains are covered with Borneal camphor. He walked along the aisle, and in front of Junlin Peak was New Bai Peak. In front of it is Hanmei Peak, and beyond Hanmei Peak is the third peak, Songyun Peak. There are many huge spruce pines on Songyun Peak, which gives it an antique feel. Just when Qin Yi was about to go straight to Songyun Peak, suddenly, on the Tongtian River, there were two beauties dancing with swords. The sword energy was filled with water, and they were dragged like long dragons, flying in all directions in the air. The two women are delicious, with graceful figures and beautiful faces. One of the women was Ji Yu Qingshuang. The other woman, although unfamiliar, was actually similar to Ji Yu Qingshuang in terms of appearance. Probably because birds of a feather flock together, there will probably be a second beautiful woman next to her. It's Xuanji's sword technique. Qin Yi took a few casual glances and recognized the origin of their swordsmanship. Under the special observation of the system, Qin Yi could see Ji Yu Qingshuang's state, seventh level of qi refining, majoring in Xuanji swordsmanship. In addition, this time there was a more detailed mark on Ji Yu Qingshuang's head, alternate daughter of destiny, when the five-color stone awakens, the destiny changes and can soar into the sky. Alternate daughter of destiny. Regardless of whether she is a candidate or not, Qin Yi is not surprised at all that she can be the daughter of destiny. After all, Hua Yunfang is the chosen one. How can the woman who can be his spouse be ordinary? Although Ji Yu Qingshuang looks ordinary now, it is because her five-color stone has not yet awakened. Favorability 5. This woman's favorability is really hard to get. Dear host, the appearance of the beautiful character Ji Yu Qingshuang has been detected. Do you accept the task of gaining Ji Yu Qingshuang's favor? No answer at the moment. Dear host, the appearance of the beautiful character Xiao Qingyu has been detected. Do you accept the task of gaining Xiao Qingyu's favor? Um, Xiao Qingyu, is there a new mission? Qin Yi looked around curiously, and finally discovered that it was the beautiful woman who was with Ji Yu Qingshuang, named Xiao Qingyu. The information is as follows. Level 6 of Qi Refining, majoring in Xuanji Sword Technique. Favorability 0. Because we don't know each other yet, there is no good impression, which is normal. System, is this Xiao Qingyu also a famous lady? The gentle Yu Jian replied, Yes, Xiao Qingyu's scheduled Taoist companion is Shang Wan Qing. Among the younger generation of the famous sword sect, Shang Wan Qing has the best friendship with Hua Yunfang, and he is also a talented person. According to that, if you gain full favor from Xiao Qingyu, you can also get the full reward. But the key is, I don't know him yet. After the two women practiced for a while, Ji Yu Qingshuang seemed to have suddenly encountered something, so she flew towards Shui Fengling with her sword. Only Xiao Qingyu was left standing on the water, constantly waving the sword in his hand. Every time she swung the sword, a line of water followed the tip of the sword. After just a few glances, Qin Yi knew what she was missing. In fact, comparing her with Ji Yu Qingshuang, Ji Yu Qingshuang can make the waterline as wide as a belt, but she can only make the waterline as wide as a finger. This is a question of the level of driving skills. Seeing that there was no one else around, Qin Yi walked along the river bank to a position closer to the woman, and suddenly said, you might as well try it. Before each swing of the sword, gather a junchi at the liak point on the arm, look. Chapter 51 The beautiful woman glanced at him unexpectedly, as if she didn't expect someone to come and talk to her. But looking at the expectant look in the other person's eyes, she nodded slightly, and then followed Qin Yi's instructions to gather a burst of energy at the Li K point on her arm. Then, use the sword technique again. When she performed the sword technique for the second time, the water line that suddenly appeared suddenly widened, from the thickness of a finger before to the thickness of a palm in an instant, even wider than what Ji Yu Qingshuang had used before. The woman was pleasantly surprised, and then she performed several moves in succession. The feeling was far better than before. It was obviously the same set of swordsmanship, but with the little technique Qin Yi mentioned, every move and every move gave her a new feeling. Thank you, your method is really useful. After sheathing her sword, the woman glanced at him gratefully with a smile on her face. Favor plus 2 Perhaps because she saw Qin Yi's handsome appearance and willingness to help others, this woman actually gave him 20 points of favorability. Qin Yi sighed in his heart, in comparison, it was indeed a little harder to earn Ji Yu Qingshuang's favorability. 
You're welcome, it's okay for fellow disciples to help each other. Qin Yi said politely. When Xuanji's sword technique relies on the power of water, the reason why it is necessary to first gather a burst of true energy at the Liak point is also very simple. Just like an honest pressure well, a little water needs to be used as a primer first, thereby causing a siphon phenomenon. Before she uses the sword technique, she first gathers a stream of true energy at Liak point, which acts as an introduction. This truth, for modern people to understand, is almost comparable to common sense. But for people of this era, they have not received scientific knowledge since they were young, and they do not understand what the siphon phenomenon is. Naturally, they will not apply these small skills to swordsmanship. In fact, the so-called understanding itself is the use of various techniques mixed into the exercises to achieve twice the result with half the effort. The reason why many things are difficult is because there are too many people who stick to the rules and don't know how to break the deadlock, dare not innovate, and stick to the rules, which ultimately makes it difficult to move forward. This senior brother, I seem to have never seen you before. Which peak are you from? The woman was very polite. Even when they didn't know each other, she first addressed each other as senior brother. After all, the other party can give her guidance, which can be regarded as the master comes first. Qin Yi smiled slightly, bowed and said, I am senior brother Kuijufang, Qin Yi. The woman was stunned for a moment, then suddenly realized, so you are. Qin Yi, senior brother. As Ji Yu Qingshuang's best friend, she should have heard about Qin Yi from Ji Yu Qingshuang. Qin Yi fell from the sky at the beginning, killed a demon and saved Ji Yu Yi. After that, he touched the enlightenment stone and became a master of the fifth level of Qi refining overnight. Then, under the personal guidance of Ji Yu Yanshan, the dripping water sword, in less than a month, his realm entered the realm of foundation building. Such a speed of cultivation can be described as a genius. Among the entire famous sword sect, only Hua Yunfang and Sha Haotai can compare with them. You know me. I heard Qing Shuang talk about her, you should know her. So you are a friend of senior sister Qing Shuang. Qin Yi nodded. It doesn't matter if you call Ji Yu Qing Shuang, senior sister. As a woman, and she is the daughter of the head of the family, it is appropriate to give her three points. Actually, I have heard of you a long time ago. Everyone said that you are a genius. When I saw you today, you are indeed well deserved. You have only started practicing for less than a month, but you are so accomplished in the practice of Xuanji sword technique. You really very powerful. Junior sister is so complimentary. I wonder what I call junior sister. My name is Xiao Qingyu a disciple of Hanmei Peak, the fourth peak. In fact, the way of swordsmanship can be used to draw on the strengths of others and make up for one's own shortcomings. Many wins come from communication. When various experiences are brought together, it is easy to improve oneself. Xiao Qingyu pursed her lips and nodded. What you said makes sense, but in the entire famous sword sect, there are not many people who are willing to do this. Except for senior sister Qingshuang, well, there is also you. At the end of the sentence, she covered her mouth and smiled. No, no one else is willing. Qin Yi was surprised. Xiao Qing Yu nodded and said, Senior brother Qin Yi has just started, so he doesn't know about this matter. In two months, our famous sword sect will hold the AO2 sword debate. There are five venues for the AO2 sword debate. Each venue is the ultimate competition of swordsmanship. For example, people who are learning Xuanji swordsmanship are all in the same field, competing with each other, and then deciding who comes first. Under such a premise, under normal circumstances, others will definitely not tell others their feelings. Quote. I see. Qin Yiting and Ji Yu Yi also mentioned the matter of AO2 sword discussion. The AO2 sword discussion is a grand festival of the famous sword sect. If you can win the AO2 sword discussion, you will definitely be trained by the entire sect. The leaders and leaders of the last AO2 sword debate were Hua Yunfeng and Sha Haotai. After they got first place, in the past five years, they didn't have to do the sect's tasks, but they still got the resources. Speaking of the AO2 sword debate five years ago, the final battle between Hua Yunfeng and Sha Haotai was quite fierce. At their level, if there were to be a decisive battle, there would be a high probability that both sides would suffer in the end, so the sect's senior officials decided that after they had fought 300 moves, they would be judged as a tie, with each other ranking first. 
Now five years have passed, and another edition of AO2 Swordsmanship is about to come. In fact, it is not only the sword leader and the sword leader who will have huge benefits, even if they break into the top 100, there will be generous rewards. Under such conditions, of course no one is willing to come out and share their experiences. If others entrust you with their experience, how will they be able to defeat you? The normal approach is, of course, to hide it and develop your own. It doesn't matter to me. I like to exchange experiences with others. If junior sister Qingyu is willing, the two of us can communicate a few more times. In many places, I also think junior sister Qingyu is better than me. Qin Yi said tactfully. To tease a girl, you must first find a topic and an opportunity to get close. In terms of cultivation and sword skills, Xiao Qingyu actually has no one who is better than him, but he just wants to say that junior sister Qingyu is better than him in a certain aspect. Only in this way can the other party accept his excellence with peace of mind. Really, I am definitely willing to have a genius like you communicate with me. But what I don't know is, is there anything I can do better? She has no awareness of her own strengths. From Qin Yi's perspective, he had seen before that she was very smooth in the connection of moves, which exceeded 30% of the disciples of the entire famous sword sect. There are many sword moves. If you follow the routine and evolve from the first move to the 30th move, it will be easy for others to crack it. Only by breaking up the sword moves and combining them at will can such changes make people unpredictable. But it is not that easy to combine the scattered sword moves at will. Especially in this era, it is difficult for people who have been stuck in a rut in thinking since childhood to break out of the sequential framework. Most of the disciples will be very smooth if you ask them to practice the sword in sequence, but once you let them break up the moves and combine them at will, they will be stuck and have to pause from time to time. Junior sister Qingyu's combos are very good. Do you have any tips in this regard? After successfully getting Xiao Qingyu to accept his kindness, Qin Yi began to use his speaking skills to arouse the other party's desire to talk. When Qin Yi mentioned combo moves, Xiao Qing Yu laughed sweetly, you are indeed very powerful. Even my master praised me for the connection of moves. Regarding the advantages of linking moves, Xiao Qing Yu did not shy away from it, because there was nothing to shy away from. To put it bluntly, it's just two words talent. A talented person can learn how to do it as soon as he is taught. You can't teach people without talent no matter how hard you teach them. This is the difference between people. If hard work can really make up for the gap, then why does the world need geniuses? Why does the sect specialize in recruiting and cultivating geniuses? A fool, no matter how you train him, will never become a pillar. This is a very real thing. It's just that you can only rely on yourself in the various combinations and connections of moves. I think practice makes perfect. If you can practice more, you should be good at it. Xiao Qingyu said gently. Junior sister Qingyu is so diligent, are you preparing for the Toho swordsmanship in two months? Qin Yi asked. Xiao Qingyu nodded. Of course, the younger generation of the famous sword sect are almost all preparing for 2-2 sword theory. After all, there are only two months left. What about you, although you are a newbie disciple, but now you are the senior brother of Kweju Peak, you should also participate in this year's Toad Sword Discussing Rite. Qin Yi, I will probably participate. His master, Dripping Sword Ji Yu Yanshan, has been teaching him more and more patiently recently and has also given him training resources. You don't have to guess to know that he definitely wants him to participate in the 2-2 sword discussion. It's just that the time for this 2-2 discussing swords is only two months. No matter how hard you train for two months, it is impossible for a person to directly enter the gold core realm at a normal speed of cultivation. Therefore, Qin Yi guessed that his father-in-law Ji Yu Yanshan wanted him to get a branch sword head. What is a branch sword head? AO2 Sword Forum will open five sword fields at that time. These five sword fields are respectively Zantian Sword Field, Eternal Life Sword Field, Xuanji Sword Field, Tianji Sword Field, and Wuliang Sword Field. Those who learn the Heaven Zanying Sword technique go to the Heaven Zanying Sword Field. People who learn Xuanji Swordsmanship go to Xuanji Sword Field. Anyway, in each sword field, a sword head will be decided. This sword head is called the Divided Sword Head. Afterwards, the Divided Sword Heads will fight against each other to determine the final total sword head. Although the Chief Swordsman is the most dazzling one, 
With Chin Yi's qualifications, it has only been three or four months since he first joined Shanmin and started the sword debate in AO2. If you can get the sword head, it will be enough for discussion. If you want to earn face, that's enough. By the way, your master is dripping sword master Ji Yu, so your major in swordsmanship should also be Xuanji swordsmanship, right? Ji Yu Yanshan's nickname is the dripping sword. The dripping sword is just a way of referring to the speed of his sword. Generally speaking, Ji Yu Yanshan's sword still does not break out of the framework of Xuanji's swordsmanship. Therefore, it still belongs to Xuanji's sword technique. So as a disciple of the dripping sword, of course he should inherit the master's advantages and inherit the Xuanji sword technique. Qin Yi shook his head. If at this time, he said that he was majoring in Xuanji swordsmanship, then regardless of whether Xiao Qingyu minded Ao2's sword discussion, he might not get too close to him. After all, it would not be good if the two met in the ring. I major in Tianji swordsmanship, Qin Yi said. The last sword leader of Tianji swordsmanship was Shang Wan Cheng. He also happened to be Xiao Qingyu's future Taoist companion. Xiao Qingyu suddenly covered her mouth and said in surprise, Are you also majoring in Tianji sword technique? Qin Yi, why is junior sister so surprised? Xiao Qingyu wanted to say that her senior brother Shang Wan also majored in Tianji swordsmanship, but after thinking about it, it seemed difficult to say this. So, he swallowed it back. Then we don't have to worry about meeting in the ring then. Qin Yi smiled. Well, it's okay not to. If we really meet Junior's sister in the ring, with Junior sister's swordsmanship, she will definitely be a difficult opponent. Xiao Qingyu covered her mouth and smiled. It is natural for girls to like to be praised, but being praised also requires skills, and embarrassing praise will make people disgusted. Only by complimenting her once or twice at the right time will she accept it with a knowing smile. I heard that you are already in the foundation building stage. If I really meet you, I am no match for you. Ah, so everyone knows, Qin Yi broke through the foundation building period, and Ji Yu Yanshan originally told his disciples not to spread the news. But obviously the news couldn't be kept secret. There are so many disciples in Kweju Peak. If the disciples spread the word among themselves and then spread it to their close friends, it would naturally become known to everyone overnight. Of course, after all, this is quite surprising. However, what is even more surprising is that you are obviously majoring in Tianji sword technique, but you are also so accomplished in Xuanji sword technique. Qin Yi, actually, my master said that the five major sword techniques of the famous sword sect are interoperable in nature. The so-called one pass, all understanding, many things are the same. Even those who study Tianji sword technique will understand the Xuanji sword technique. And on the contrary, the more people learn Tianji sword technique, the more they understand Xuanji sword technique. Why? Xiao Qingyu tilted her head curiously. Because water and fire are inherently incompatible, some of the advantages of Tianji sword technique can be used in Xuanji sword technique as long as they are reversed. Is this still possible? Of course, how about we try a few tricks? Okay. After she agreed, Qin Yi broke off a branch from the roadside, jumped onto the water, and confronted her. Xiao Qingyu's sword moves are soft and gorgeous. She is indeed very talented in the consistency of moves, but her weakness is also obvious, that is, she is more gorgeous than powerful. But Qin Yi deliberately weakened the power of his sword moves, cooperated with her, and fought her back and forth. After more than 30 moves in a row, Xiao Qing Yu was dripping with sweat and felt very relaxed. Also because Qin Yi followed her during the fight, she felt that the two sword techniques did have some similarities. For example, Water is merciless, and fire is merciless. It has been said since ancient times that water and fire are merciless. Whether it is Xuanji sword technique or Tianji sword technique, in terms of killing moves, their characteristics are almost exactly the same. After playing 60 moves, she became happier as she played. Mainly because Qin Yi was given the pleasure attribute by the system. As long as he teaches the opposite gender step by step, the opposite will feel a special sense of pleasure. Although he is not teaching Xiao Qingyu step by step now, every move he makes follows Xiao Qingyu, which is almost as if he is teaching Xiao Qingyu step by step. Therefore, the pleasure of pleasure will also be transmitted to her through the sword in her hand. After having this pleasure, Qin Yi believes that she will be deeply impressed by him. Moreover, after this pleasant exchange of moves,
the next time she exchanges moves with others, it will seem boring. After all, other people don't have this special ability to make women happy. After hitting 70 moves, Chin Yi said goodbye and left. The pleasure of pleasure should be taken away as soon as it is good, just like honey, it must be present or absent to make people want to stop. If it is too much, it will become greasy. Xiao Ching Yu thanked him, Senior brother Chin, will you come here again in the future? Chin Yi knew it and asked, What's wrong? Xiao Ching Yu said implicitly, If possible, next time, I would like to spar with you a few more times. In the previous fight, I feel that I have learned a lot of skills that I could not master before. Chin Yi smiled slightly and did not give a clear answer. Of course you can, if you can meet him. However, you can also find other people who major in Tianji sword technique, and the effect should be the same. This sentence seems simple, but in fact, Chin Yi has already laid two traps. The first trick is to put down the bait and let Xiao Qingyu bite it. The less he gives a clear answer, the more eager Xiao Qingyu will be. The second trick will make Xiao Qingyu feel contrasted. You know, Shang Wan Qing majored in Tianji swordsmanship, and now Chin Yi has said this. After that, if Xiao Qingyu asks to spar with Shang Wan Qing, but Shang Wan Qing cannot bring her pleasure, then, won't the effect of comparison come out? Not long after watching Qin Yi leave, on the Hanmei peak of the third peak, a man dressed as a Confucian scholar came elegantly with a sword and landed on the river. Qing Yu, are you still practicing? The person coming was none other than Shang Wan Qing, and Qin Yi left on time. If he had hesitated a little longer, he might have been hit by this person. Brother, you're here, Xiao Qing Yu smiled sweetly, her face brightening. I see that your swordsmanship seems to be quite advanced. It seems that senior sister Qing Shuang taught you well. Shang Wan Qing praised. As Xiao Qing Yu's man, he certainly knows Xiao Qing Yu's swordsmanship level. Before yesterday, when Xiao Qing Yu was drawing water in Xuanji, the sword could only draw out a finger width water line, but today it was able to draw out a palm sized amount of water. This is not just a slight improvement, it can almost be regarded as a qualitative sublimation. Xiao Qing Yu couldn't help but glance in the direction Qin Yi left. At this time, no one could be seen. She wanted to say in her heart that it was not because of Qing Shuang's help that I could achieve such improvement. Although Qing Shuang had indeed helped her before, Qing Shuang's methods were not suitable for her, so Qing Shuang's help had no effect on her. Not big either. On the contrary, Qin Yi improved her swordsmanship in just a few words. However, as a woman, she certainly knew not to mention Qin Yi easily in front of her man. In addition to being afraid of causing misunderstandings, I am also afraid of causing other troubles. Although she thinks that she and Qin Yi are good friends, others may not think so. Brother, can you practice sword practice with me? Xiao Qing Yu suddenly requested. Qin Yi said that anyone who masters Tianji's sword art can confirm with her that after all, water and fire are ruthless. In this regard, Xuanji sword art and Tianji sword art have something in common. Should I practice with you? I major in Tianji swordsmanship. Our swordsmanship is different. If you want to improve, just ask senior sister Qing Shuang to teach you tomorrow. Shang Wan Qing said. Xiao Qing Yu saw that she was actually rejected. You must know that Qin Yi was just a passerby and was willing to spar with her, but Shang Wan Qing, her Taoist companion, actually refused her. However, I heard people say that water and fire are ruthless, and Xuanji swordsmanship and Tianji swordsmanship have some similarities in some aspects. Did senior sister Qing Shuang say this? No, it was said by some other brothers. Qing Yu, don't listen to people's nonsense. Each of the five swordsmanships of the famous sword sect has its own wonders and differences. The so-called similarities are definitely lies. Don't believe them. Oh, Xiao Qingyu didn't argue with him, but her expression at this time seemed a bit lonely. Doesn't she know whether she is lying to others or not? It was obvious that she had learned many key points and techniques from her previous sparring with Qin Yi. The facts were already in front of her, but Shang Wan Qing still wanted to deny it. Brother, would you like to practice a few moves with me? Xiao Qingyu still made herself smile and asked again. She felt that it didn't matter if her senior brother didn't believe it. She just needed to let him know the benefits through sparring. After he felt it, he would naturally change his mind. For example, someone dares not eat honey. If you say it is sweet, he does not believe it. 
but after you put a mouthful in his mouth and let him taste the taste, will he still believe it? Shang Wan Ching looked at the beauty in front of him and asked her again and again, but he couldn't resist her, okay, okay, I will practice a few moves with you. Let's agree first, just ten moves. We practice different swordsmanship, and there is no proven effect. Quote. Ten moves are ten moves. After Xiao Qingyu responded, she took the initiative to start moving. She summarized the ten moves that made her understand the most when she compared with Qin Yi, and now she executed them smoothly. These ten moves once made her feel extremely happy. She believed that this pleasure would be even stronger when sparring with a man she admired. However, after she performed the move, Sheng Wan Ching's sword came out fiercely, and as soon as it met her watery strength, her wrists were numbed. When it came to the third move, Sheng Wan Ching relied on his advanced cultivation to knock the sword out of Xiao Qing Yu's hand and fell into the water. They promised to practice ten moves, but only three moves were used to end the sparring. Sheng Wan Ching smiled slightly and said, Qing Yu, let me just say it. Xuanji swordsmanship should be practiced with Xuanji swordsmanship. If you practice with Tianji swordsmanship, it will not be of any help to you. When Xiao Qing Yu heard this, she fell silent. She looked at Shang Wan Qing with complicated eyes. Why? Obviously Qin Yi also majors in Tianji swordsmanship, why can he be so good at sparring with me? And you, senior brother, the same heavenly sword technique, is so violent in your hands, with no matching artistic conception at all. Qing Yu, what's wrong with you? Shang Wan Qing asked her. Xiao Qing Yu shook her head, nothing. Then you can practice hard by yourself. I'll go to Shifang Ridge for a walk. Okay. After watching Shang Wan Qing leave, Xiao Qing Yu looked at the calm water and suddenly sighed. As for Qin Yi, he has now arrived at the foot of the third peak, Songyun Peak. By coincidence, as soon as he arrived here, he saw Xu Xinren and several female disciples coming down from the mountain. Each of these female disciples holds a basin in their hands. Then in a cold spring at the foot of the mountain, the spring water inside was collected. After picking them up, they walked with their swords one by one and flew up the mountain. When Qin Yi saw Xu Xinren, Xu Xinren also saw him. Due to Xu Xinren's status, she was originally the first to receive the water, but she asked other women to line up in front of her, and waited until everyone else had finished receiving the water before she went to receive her own water. At this time, there was no one else around. She quietly put down the basin and came to Qin Yi, Senior Brother Qin, why are you here? Qin Yi was feeling hot at this moment. Looking at her graceful figure, he couldn't help but put her slim waist into his arms, don't you call me husband? Xu Xinren's face turned pale with nervousness, and like a little white rabbit, she jumped out of his arms in panic and whispered, Miss Sir, don't make trouble. This is under Songyun Peak. If you are attacked by master or others, it will be troublesome if people find out. I miss you. Qin Yi held her hand and looked at her intently. She lowered her head and held the corners of her clothes with both hands, but, but this is in the sect. Qin Yi, your master didn't ask you anything about Song Shanming's disappearance, right? She raised her head. I asked, but master also knew that Song Shanming did not attend the attendance, so I said I didn't know, and master didn't ask any more questions. Qin Yi, actually, I should have kept you outside before. Otherwise, when I missed you, I would have been afraid of being seen even if I hugged you. Hearing her lover say such words, Xu Xinren felt sweet in her heart. If a man can miss her so much, he must love her very much. She hesitated for a moment, bit her lip and pointed to a cave twenty meters away, over there, very few people go there. If you go there, you can, you can. Give me a hug. Qin Yi grinned, cave. Immediately, he picked her up by the waist and then in a flash, he came to the cave she mentioned. Mr. Hug, that's about it. Xu Xinren was very nervous. But how could Qin Yi let it go so easily? After kissing her hard twice, he directly lifted up the soft skirt. Ah, the breeze blows slowly, and there is tranquility outside the cave. Xu Xinren snuggled into Qin Yi's arms and looked at him closely. Miss Sir, what do you think we will do if we have a child? Then give birth. Really? Xu Xinren's eyes flashed. The circle of cultivation is ultimately different from the circle of mortals. Between mortal lovers, if they are really pregnant with a child, they will definitely give birth to more children and more happiness. But in the circle of cultivation, 
few people actually want to have children. Because whether in the famous sword sect or in other sects, once their women become pregnant and decide to have a baby, the sect will suspend the distribution of training resources to them. At least three years or more. Why do you want to say? The reason is very simple, because after you have a child, you will definitely not be able to devote yourself to cultivation wholeheartedly. Instead of wasting resources by distributing resources to you at this time, it would be better to wait for three years, when you can stop focusing on your children for the time being and focus on your cultivation before distributing materials to you. Maybe you will say, such a large sect and a dignified cultivator, can't we invite an old lady? Servants, maids, etc. can also help take care of the children. If you think so, you are wrong. In the world of cultivation, once a child is born, the couple must personally cultivate the child for at least three years. Before the age of three after birth, it is the best time for the child's root bone to be finalized. Therefore, if parents carefully shape the root bone for him, his starting point is destined to be higher than the average person. Like Ji Yu Yi and Ji Yu Qingshuang, they had the aptitude for cultivation since they were born. This is because their parents gave them root bone molding when they were young. For ordinary children, only one in a hundred, or even one in a thousand, can find a few who are suitable for cultivation. This is the gap. Especially within a large sect, if you give birth to a child who cannot practice, wouldn't it be ridiculed if word spread about it? Therefore, once you decide to have a child, you will not be able to obtain cultivation resources for at least three years. Not even if you make meritorious deeds. Therefore, Xu Xinren was surprised and moved at the same time after hearing Qin Yi's words. Isn't this an act of responsibility? Of course it's true. If you are pregnant, don't hide it from me, and don't break it down secretly. You must keep it. Um, in the circle of cultivation, if some women don't want to be pregnant, they can use their own strength to break down the fetus with spiritual power before it is formed. This is a very simple thing, and can be done with just one thought. Then, if you want to give birth to a child, my husband, you have to admit your identity. Xu Shinrin looked at him secretly. Song Shanming is dead anyway. Although no one knows it yet, over time, someone will definitely guess it. At that time, if Xu Shinrin was pregnant, everyone would know that it would not be Song Shanming's, and Qin Yi would not let his child be thought to be Song Shanming's. At this time, he had to stand up and admit that the child was his, otherwise, the sect would have to force Xu Shinren to disintegrate the fetus. Admit it, just admit it. My dear, am I the kind of person who dares to do something but dare not admit it? Qin Yi said boldly, it takes ten months to give birth to a baby, and it takes four to five months for the belly to bulge to a very obvious extent. He felt that in four or five months, he should have grown to a height beyond the reach of the famous sword sect. After reaching such a height, what rules and sect regulations should he care about? My husband is indeed a very responsible man. Shu Shinrin smiled sweetly and huddled in his arms like a kitten. By the way, I want to ask you for something else. Qin Yi said suddenly. What? I want a bottle of qi gathering pill. The qi gathering pill was prepared for Miao Shoufeng. Qin Yi did not hand over the mission materials for their attendance because of his quarrel with Hua Yunfang, so he had to be responsible for giving Miao Shoufeng the qi gathering pill. Yes, Xu Xinren did not hesitate, searched for it on his body, and gave him a bottle. Here, take a few pills. As long as you take a few pills, your body will almost recover. Qin Yi poured two qi gathering pills from the bottle and fed them into her mouth himself. Xu Shinren's eyes widened in surprise, and she ate the qi gathering pill passively like eating jelly beans. Ms. Sir, how can you take this elixir like this? Qi gathering pills, even if each person completes the task, only three pills will be given out in a month. But now, Qin Yi fed her two pills just to help her recover. After swallowing the qi gathering pill, a soft heat quickly circulated along Shu Shinren's meridians. The pain and fatigue caused by Qin Yi were relieved by the power of the medicine in just a short while. When it was almost dark, Qin Yikai and Xu Xinren separated from here. Xu Xinren was trembling when she left. Fortunately, she could fly with a sword and no one would notice anything under the night. Qin Yi walked back to the path along the river. Looking at Xu Xinren's appearance, he had probably reached his limit. However, the effectiveness of Gozenmaru is said to last for three days. 
Today is only the first day. What about tomorrow and the day after tomorrow? How to solve it? Just when he was in trouble, under the sudden soft moonlight, he still saw a familiar silhouette on the familiar river. But at this moment, the beautiful figure looked lonely and cold. Junior sister Qingyu, are you still practicing? The woman on the river is none other than Xiao Qingyu. Now that he saw it, Qingyu also said hello to her. After Xiao Qingyu was stunned for a moment, she turned around and saw that it was him, then she forced a smile and said, Senior brother Qin. It's so late, why don't you go back? The sky is already dark, and the more cultivators are, the more they follow the laws of heaven and earth. Practice at sunrise and rest at sunset. During the day, the yang energy is sufficient, which is suitable for practicing. But at night, the night is as dark as water and the yin energy is getting thicker, which is not conducive to practice. It is only suitable for meditation and improving the spiritual realm. Well, I want to calm down here for a while. Xiao Qingyu said. Qin Yi, see you next time. There was not much communication, and there was no special effort to express. This is the essence of flirting with a girl. After all, you have just met her. If you take the initiative to get close to her, once the other person's defensive value is too high, it will be easy for her to become suspicious and defensive of you. Like Qin Yi, he obviously wanted to get close to Xiao Qingyu, but at this time he just wanted to play hard to get and didn't say much to her. He had a good sense of proportion. After all, the other party said she wanted to calm down for a while, which meant that her heart was very messy. Since it was very messy, it was best not to cause more chaos to her. After saying goodbye, he left decisively before Xiao Qingyu could react. When Xiao Qingyu seemed to have something to say, his back had already disappeared. After he returned to Kuiju Peak, because there was no woman to help him, he could only rely on meditation and diversion to temporarily suppress his inner desires. The next day, Ji Yu Yi did not come to Qin Yi's residence to look for him again, perhaps because he had been tortured too much before. She didn't even participate when Ji Yu Yanshan gave him a private lecture and martial arts exercises. When Qin Yi asked Ji Yu Yanshan about Ji Yu Yi's situation, Ji Yu Yanshan just said lightly, men should not ask too much about women's affairs. The implication seems to be, well, a special day has come. I see, master, in two months it will be time for the swordsmanship competition. After thinking about it several times, I decided to compete with the Tianji sword technique. During this time, Ji Yu Yanshan taught him a lot of the essence of swordsmanship. Of course, there are five major sword techniques in the famous sword sect. With Qin Yi's understanding, he has already mastered these five major sword techniques. It's just that several other sword techniques have never been shown in front of others. Even when facing Ji Yu Yanshan, he only used the fire attribute, Tianji sword technique, and the water attribute, Xuanji sword technique. Tianji sword technique, is the earliest sword technique revealed by Qin Yi. Without anyone to teach him, he accidentally used, six stars crossing the sky. As for the, Xuanji sword technique, Ji Yu Yanshan taught it personally, and also passed on the essence of his dripping sword to Qin Yi. You must know that the name of the dripping sword is not only a martial skill, but also a heritage. If Qin Yi Ruo uses Xuanji swordsmanship to stand on the stage where the leader is discussing swords, the meaning of that is extraordinary. Do you think the, Tianji sword technique, is better than the, Xuanji sword technique? Ji Yu Yanshan frowned slightly. A little displeased. He taught Xuanji sword technique and the essence of dripping water sword so wholeheartedly, but Qin Yi finally wanted to use Tianji sword technique to compete. Qin Yi, that's not what my disciple meant. It's just that the, Xuanji sword technique, was taught by the master himself, and the disciple wants to keep it as a trump card. Unless it is absolutely necessary, the dripping sword should be hidden on the body, and it is better to rely on it to protect the people around you. Quote, Speaking like this not only flatters Ji Yu Yanshan, but is also reasonable. The reason is to protect the people around him, which is very legitimate. After hearing this, Ji Yu Yanshan's face brightened slightly, and he was indeed moved by his reason. Qin Yi can think this way, which shows that he is a person who values love and justice. The most powerful martial arts skills he learned are used to protect the people around him, rather than using them to compete with others. Ji Yu Yanshan very satisfied. Qin Yi observed the words for a while and continued. 
the disciple feels that even if he competes with the Tianji sword technique, he will definitely get the sword head. Therefore, it is better not to show the Xuanji sword technique to outsiders. After Ji Yu Yanshan pondered for a while, he said, I am very happy that you can think so. Speaking of which, your Tianji sword technique is indeed quite talented. Anyway, since you want to use Tianji sword technique, it's up to you to participate in the competition. However, there are still two months left for the AO2 sword debate. During this period, you must not relax as a teacher. Quote, Disciples must hurry up and practice. Toto swordsmanship, either you don't participate, but once you participate, you must at least come back with a sword head. Qin Yi's guess was indeed correct. Ji Yu Yanshan asked him to compete, and his lowest expectation was to come back with a sword head. As for the general sword head, it is too difficult. Wyan Peak is a very high mountain, and it is not easy to cross it. After all, Qin Yi started late and has only been practicing for less than a month. In terms of foundation and realm, they are all far different from Wyanfang. But Qin Yi himself felt that since he had already participated in the competition, it would be too pointless to get a separate sword head. If he wanted to win, he would get the overall sword head. Master, why not, let's set the goal higher and get the overall sword head. Let junior sister Yi Yi get the points sword head, and I will just get the general sword head. Ji Yu Yanshan smiled, you kid, you haven't been practicing for a long time, but your tone is not bad. If you can get the sword head, it's already very good. You still want to get the overall sword leader. To get the overall sword leader, first of all you have to defeat Sha Haotai and Hua Yunfang, these two people are beyond your reach at the moment. Hua Yunfang and Sha Haotai are both gold core masters. As for gold core masters, they are already at the elder level in the famous sword sect. Ordinary disciples can only fall behind. Qin Yi smiled in his heart, Sha Haotai. Sha Haotai's body has been cold for a long time. But to kill Sha Haotai, he used that nascent soul experience card. If he wanted to fight with his true strength, he was indeed no match. In the AO2 sword debate, if I want to use my own strength to get the head of the sword, I have to win a new woman within two months. Single quote. Ji Yu Qingxuang, currently, is too difficult to be chosen as the first choice. Xiao Qingyu, it seems good, you can try to develop it further. In addition to the two of them, Qin Yi decided to visit the famous sword sect more from tomorrow, maybe he could meet a better target. As long as he finds a new target for his love, his realm can break through the gold core realm and compete with Hua Yunfang. Master said this, but it is a bit too ambitious for others. Although the disciple has not yet reached the gold core realm world, he has already reached the foundation building perfection. He is only one step away from the gold core. As long as within two months, the disciple it may not be impossible to break through to the gold core realm and become the chief swordsman. Qin Yi said, speaking of this, Ji Yu Yanshan had to admit that his disciple was a bit of a monster. In fact, after Qin Yi captured Xu Xin, he had already reached the foundation building perfection. However, due to the environment of heaven and earth, his state did not directly appear as Zochen, but a state of deficiency. These days, after Ji Yu Yanshan's supply of elixirs replenished his spiritual power, the realm of Zochen was suddenly highlighted. Ji Yu Yanshan was also shocked when he found out. Although in Qin Yi's innate realm world, touching the Enlightenment Stone only gave him the fifth layer of Qi refining, which was not as good as the ninth layer of Qi refining that Hua Yunfang was born with, Qin Yi's speed of improvement was many times better than Hua Yunfang's. If Qin Yi can really enter the gold core realm within two months, then it may not be impossible to compete for the top spot. The great perfection of foundation establishment seems to be only one step away from the gold core, but one step is also a world away. Many people may not be able to cross it in their lifetime. If you want to advance to the gold core within two months, what's the point? Easier said than done. However, it is not completely impossible. In a few days, a forbidden area will be opened. There are many opportunities there. If you can find an opportunity there to help you break through the gold core, it may not be impossible. Quote. Forbidden area. To be honest, I don't want you to participate. Ji Yu Yanshan said. What forbidden area? Ji Yu Yanshan took out a picture and spread it out in front of him. What was drawn on that picture was an ancient ruins 300 miles south of the famous sword sect. 
There used to be the battlefield of Godfian. In the past, I don't know how many powerful nascent souls and evil monsters of monster race demon race were killed. In the end, the blood of good and evil paths intertwined there, forming a bloody forbidden land. Nine out of ten people who go in will die. Because it was too dangerous, that place was later banned by several major sects. But although this place is dangerous, it is also full of opportunities. For example, 60 years ago before the Scarlet Forbidden Land was closed, a disciple of the Tai sect broke into it. That disciple was originally averagely talented, but when he came out of the Scarlet Forbidden Land, his strength had already reached the nascent soul level. From then on, he was proud of one side. His example made many people red-eyed. Because many people were jealous, many people died in the bloody Forbidden Land. In recent years, due to various sects searching for natural materials and treasures, precious medicinal materials outside have gradually become rare. Without resources, everyone's cultivation progress will be slowed down. Under such a general environment, after some discussions, the various sects finally decided to open the seal of the bloody forbidden land. Reopen this place. It's just that after this place is opened, anyone who is willing to take risks can go on a voluntary basis. Don't force it on those who don't want to take risks. Anyway, the opportunity is there, and anyone who wants to go can go at any time. If another nascent soul level master appears among these adventurers, it will be profitable for any sect. And it's a sure profit. After listening to Ji Yu Yanshan's description, Qin Yi immediately retreated. Adventure, I have a love stealing system, should I take a risk? Isn't it good to flirt with girls quietly? Since the bloody forbidden land is so dangerous, I'd better not go there, he said decisively. Seeing how decisive he was, Ji Yu Yanshan was stunned for a moment. It stands to reason that a passionate young man should at least get passionate and show his courage. But Qin Yi was very calm and showed no sign of passion. This is a bit lacking in youthful energy. However, looking at it from the other side, this can be regarded as a rare kind of stability. After being stunned, Ji Yu Yanshan also smiled. If you don't want to go, I won't go. It doesn't matter if you don't go. If something happens, it won't be worth the loss. The next few days seemed a little boring. Ji Yu Yi is here, recuperating at home and rarely going out for activities. Xu Xinren didn't know how Song Yunfang arranged it. Qin Yi went there several times but didn't meet her. By the river, he didn't meet Xiao Qingyu again. Five days passed like this, and when he went to find Xu Xinren again, he finally saw Xiao Qingyu on the road. Compared with last time, Xiao Qingyu looked a little haggard. As for why he was haggard, Qin Yi knew it well. He practiced swordplay with Xiao Qingyu, which not only brainwashed her, but also brought her unprecedented pleasure. This kind of pleasure and experience is impossible for her to find in other men. Once such a gap is formed in the heart, a woman's sensitive mind cannot help but think wildly. Once such a gap is formed, it will easily lead to conflicts between the couple. And the result of the facts was just as Qin Yi guessed. In the past few days, Xiao Qingyu had met with Shang Wanqing for sparring several times. But once or twice, Shang Wanqing was patient enough to withstand it, but three or four times, Shang Wanqing didn't have that much patience anymore. In fact, Shang Wanqing's point of view is not wrong. He is a person who majors in Tianji swordsmanship. What experience can you gain from sparring with him? Only by sparring with people who also practice Xuanji swordsmanship can we prove each other's strength, learn from each other's strengths, and make improvements. Xiao Qingyu's repeated invitations were unreasonable in Shang Wan Qing's opinion. Now there is only less than two months before Ao2's sword debate, and he has to hurry up and stabilize his condition to avoid being snatched away by others for his title of sword master. But at this time, Xiao Qingyu was so ignorant. Ji Yu Qingshuang promised to take her to sword practice, but she came to him anyway. Isn't this unreasonable? So, just this morning, Sheng Wan Qing scolded her. On Xiao Qingyu's side, she felt doubly aggrieved, because she had truly received pleasure and gain from Qin Yi. But she never felt any pleasure when sparring with Sheng Wan Qing. She gradually thought that Sheng Wan Qing didn't like her and was just trying to deal with her. That's why she couldn't feel any pleasure and couldn't gain anything. In a fit of anger, she turned away and came to Tongtian River alone, where she had been standing from morning to afternoon. A pair of beautiful eyes were wet and dry, and I don't know how many times I cried silently. 
It was almost dusk when Qin Yi came down the mountain. When we passed the section along the river, we found her standing on the water in a daze. At first, he didn't say hello, but hurried past and went to the cave at the foot of Songyun Peak first. The last time he made an appointment with Xu Xinren, whenever Xu Xinren was free, she would come to this cave to wait for him, and the appointment was made after dusk. Of course he had to warm up his body after holding it back for several days. But unfortunately, when he rushed to the cave, Xu Xinren was still missing. It's strange, could it be that we are all here to meet Ao to Lianjian and don't have time to go on a date? With Xu Xinren's infatuation with him, she would definitely come as long as she was free. Since she didn't come, it meant that she really didn't have the time or opportunity. Qin Yi secretly exclaimed a pity and walked back to the river again. When he came over again, Xiao Qing Yu had not left yet, standing on the water like a watchman's stone. Junior sister Qing Yu, are you catching fish? Qin Yi was lying on the fence and suddenly made a joke. Xiao Qing Yu was looking at the water in a daze. Suddenly she heard these words and turned around. When she saw it was Qin Yi, she immediately forced a smile, it's senior brother Qin. I, I didn't want to catch fish. Quote. Didn't you practice sword practice today? Qin Yi asked her. Xiao Qing Yu shook her head. She was neither in the mood nor in that artistic conception today, so her practice was in vain. Qin Yi, are you worried? Xiao Qing Yu was silent for a while, without answering, but asked, Senior brother Qin, are you going to participate in the AO2 sword debate? Qin Yi, well, I probably want it. Xiao Qing Yu murmured, with senior brother Qin's talent, he should be a strong player competing for the sword head by then. Qin Yi, junior sister Qing Yu is not bad. Your name will definitely appear on the sword field of Xuanji sword technique. Xiao Qing Yu shook her head lonely, lowered her head and said, No. Qin Yi, why are you so negative? Xiao Qing Yu, there is no way to improve my swordsmanship for the time being. If my swordsmanship cannot be improved, I have to improve my realm. But in terms of realm, it is more difficult to improve than my martial arts. I am only at the sixth level of qi refining now. When the time comes, I definitely can't compare with other senior brothers and sisters. In fact, it is right to think so, and it can be regarded as self-awareness. From an objective point of view, Qin Yi also believed that her swordsmanship was only above average among the younger generation of the famous sword sect. It is quite difficult to get points for sword head. But being objective is objective. On the premise of flirting with girls, of course you can't rely on objectivity. You are wrong to think so. In the realm of qi refining, even the fifth layer can beat the tenth layer. In the qi refining stage, the realm is not particularly important. Unless the opponent is building a foundation, otherwise, you it's still competitive. Qin Yi said comfortingly, in the qi refining stage, if the qi refining fifth layer is regarded as having a pistol, then the qi refining tenth layer is a submachine gun. In terms of power and lethality, submachine guns are definitely better, but it is undeniable that as long as the opponent's pistol hits you, you will still be finished. Therefore, at this stage, strength and weakness are limited. Regardless of realm, the difference between strength and weakness actually depends more on the proficiency and flexibility of swordsmanship. The foundation building period can actually be equivalent to a mortar. This is a different level. From a long distance away, even if you have a pistol or a submachine gun, one shot can kill you. This is called realm suppression. Among the current young generation who practice Xuanji sword technique, are there any masters at the foundation establishment realm? Qin Yi asked. Xiao Qing Yu thought for a moment, then shook her head, no more. Originally, senior sister Qing Shuang was very accomplished in Xuanji swordsmanship, but because of her status, she did not participate in the sword discussion with the leader. As the daughter of the sect leader, it is right not to participate. After all, it's not good if others beat you. If they don't beat you, you can't help yourself. Since there are no masters in the foundation building stage, I think it will be okay for junior sister Qing Yu to get a sword head. Qin Yi encouraged. Xiao Qing Yu felt moved in her heart. Shang Wan Qing, who was her future Taoist companion, never encouraged him like this. On the contrary, Qin Yi, who only had a mutual relationship, was willing to encourage her like this. Xiao Qing Yu suddenly smiled and said, It's actually strange. Although I haven't known senior brother Qin for a long time, I always feel like an old friend. 
Chen Yi also smiled and said, What a coincidence, actually it was the first time I met junior sister Ching Yu, and I felt very close to her, like a family member. There are some things in the world that are indeed magical. Xiao Ching Yu, who had been depressed all day, smiled from the bottom of his heart. Favorability plus 2-0. Chin Yi knew that it was his hard to get attitude and approachability that won her favor again. Immediately, he struck while the iron was hot. Junior sister Ching Yu, how about I accompany you to do a few more tricks? At this time, Xiao Ching Yu's favorability towards him totaled 40 points. According to the system's instructions, 50 points is a dividing line. Above 50 points is the level of friends, and below 50 points can only be regarded as the favorability of passers-by. Although 40 points is not high at present, after Xiao Qingyu was lost all day, it was rare for someone to make her happy again, so she naturally would not refuse Qin Yi's proposal. Okay, I learned a lot from sparring with senior brother Qin last time. I hope this time can be the same as last time. Come on then. Qin Yi still broke off a branch from the roadside and used the branch as a sword. Then he climbed over the fence and took the initiative to attack her. Still the same as last time, he restrained his power and made his power as similar as hers, or even 20% weaker than hers. Only in this way can she have room to perform. During this process, every time the two of them touched their weapons, the pleasure was once again transmitted to Xiao Qing Yu through the sword. Xiao Qingyu's depressed mood was stimulated by pleasure and became happier. It's strange, sparring with senior brother Qin always makes people very happy. She said suddenly. Qin Yi, this is because we are all involved in it, haven't you noticed? When people are particularly focused on one thing, they will feel very happy, and even time will pass very quickly. Yeah, she nodded in agreement. That's right. Pleasure came from the fact that both she and Qin Yi were seriously involved in it and enjoyed the joy brought by the battle. After this time, she also confirmed that her Taoist companion Sheng Wan Qing was indeed perfunctory every time. If he wasn't perfunctory, why did she never feel such pleasure when she sparred with him? Junior sister Qing Yu, the essence of Xuanji's sword technique lies in accumulating power. The final stance of Tianji's sword technique is nine stars flashed together, while the final stance of Xuanji's sword technique is ninth layer Yuanli. Its principle, just like this water wave, the more waves accumulate, the greater its impact. In the same way, the same goes for the energy accumulation of Xuanji's sword technique. Although you can now accumulate energy, the speed is not fast enough and the method is not smooth enough. Quote. Xiao Qing Yu listened carefully then how can we correct it? The method of accumulating energy in Xuanji sword technique is different for everyone. Everyone can create different methods of accumulating energy based on their own talents and habits. All in all, if you want to play Xuanji swordsmanship smoothly, you must build up your strength. Xuanji swordsmanship that lacks sufficient energy is an unqualified Xuanji swordsmanship. In other words, as long as you can accumulate energy ninth layer anytime and anywhere, it will be absolutely easy to get a split sword head on AO2 Lungian. I have a few moves here, but they are a bit complicated. Do you want to learn them? Chin Yi threw the bait again. Well, if senior brother Chin is willing to teach, I will definitely be willing to learn. Let me hold your hand and demonstrate it. What do you think? If I just demonstrate it to you, you may not understand the secret. That's, okay. Xiao Qingyu was a little hesitant at first and wanted to grab her hand. After all, this was too much. However, thinking that the other party is so kind to teach me, how can I think like this? So, she agreed. And Qin Yi was indeed very well behaved after he came to her side. The first time he taught step by step, he neither held her waist nor touched other parts of her body. He simply used his right hand to gently hold her wrist. The starting position is the same as what I taught you last time. First, accumulate a breath of true energy at the leak point. Then swing the sword in an oblique direction to release the true energy. And then add another move, in the same direction and in the same position, so that you can accumulate strength twice immediately. After that, you can accumulate seven mouthfuls of true energy on the Taiyin Lung Meridian in your hands, and use the ninth and seventeenth postures to exert your energy, and you can immediately accumulate ninth layer power. Quote. These experiences were actually taught to Qin Yi by Ji Yu Yanshan. This experience may not seem difficult, but in fact it took Ji Yu Yanshan many years of study to develop it. When he was young, 
he relied on this skill to excel. After teaching it to Qin Yi, Qin Yi thought it was too complicated. He brought it in using modern principles and felt that the essence of Xuanji's sword technique was superposition. If he wants to accumulate ninth layer power, he can use inertia to get faster. But his method was a bit complicated for people of this era, so he simply transferred what Ji Yu Yanshan taught him to Xiao Qingyu. After Xiao Qingyu taught him step by step for the first time, she successfully charged up the ninth layer's power. This surprise made her feel as if she had heard the fairy music. I was overjoyed in my heart, and there was unconcealable excitement on my face. Senior Brother Chin, your method seems to work really well. Of course, this is what my master taught me the dripping water sword. Don't tell anyone else. Ah, is this what Master Ji Yu taught me? Then, is it convenient for me to learn? You didn't learn it secretly, I taught you it, so just learn it openly. You are also a disciple of the famous sword sect anyway, so passing it on to you doesn't count as breaking the rules. Xiao Qing Yu smiled sweetly. Thank you, senior brother Chin. At this moment, her mood is getting brighter and brighter, and the pleasant effect will be even better if she teaches it step by step. Qin Yi asked her to practice it by herself, but she was not familiar with it after all and made a few mistakes in the process. So, Qin Yi taught her step by step again. After that, at her own request, she taught her step by step three more times. At this point, the atmosphere between the two people became ambiguous unknowingly. But Xiao Qingyu, who was immersed in pleasure, didn't know it. Favorability plus 3-0. Qin Yi's dedication and joyful blessing did not disappoint him in the end, and he actually got 30 points of favor in one go. Including the previous favorability, it now has a favorability score of 70. 70 points of favorability is considered a good friend level. If it reaches 80 points, that is the level you like. There is still 10 points of favorability. It seems that my weight in her heart is still a little lighter than Shang Wan Cheng's. Single quote. But at this time, he couldn't go any further. For example, if you kiss her now and break the relationship, she might be frightened and stop seeing him again. After all, the two of them have just met each other now. In terms of relationships, we can only hit the mark. After the lesson was almost finished, Qin Yi politely left again. Before leaving, Xiao Qingyu even took the initiative to ask him to come here to practice sword practice together tomorrow if he was free. But how could Qin Yi go as she wished? He didn't go for the next two or three days. It wasn't until dusk on the fourth day that he went down the mountain again. This time in the moonlit dusk, he met this beautiful girl again. The difference from last time was that when I saw her this time, she was sitting on a rock by the river, hugging her feet and looking blank. What's wrong? Is there something unhappy? Qin Yi appeared beside her quietly, sat down on a rock one meter away from her, picked up pebbles and threw them into the river. Xiao Qing Yu later realized that it was him who was here. After calling, senior brother Qin, she still lowered her head. What problem did you encounter again? Qin Yi asked patiently. Xiao Qing Yu hesitated to speak at first, and then seemed to have made up his mind. Senior brother Qin, have you ever heard of the bloody forbidden land? Blood Forbidden Land, why are you mentioning this place? It is said to be a very dangerous place. A few days ago, Qin Yi also just heard about this place from his father-in-law Ji Yu Yanshan, and the ban has been lifted recently. That place was very weird. Countless Yuanying old monsters had died, and countless heavenly demon great monsters had died. Their blood had bred many weird things in that area. At the same time, that place also preserved various killing formations left over from the war. All in all, it was an extremely dangerous place. If ten people go in and one comes out, it's considered good. With this high mortality rate, even if old monsters from the gold core stage and nascent soul stage enter, there won't be big exceptions. It's not very dangerous, it's very dangerous. It's almost a near-death situation. Do you have any friends to go to? Qin Yi suddenly guessed that her Taoist companion Shang Wan Qing was planning to go. So, she was worried about the safety of her Taoist companion. Xiao Qing Yu shook her head, I want to go. What? Qin Yi felt as if he heard wrongly, are you kidding me? Xiao Qing Yu, in addition to dangers, there are also opportunities in the bloody forbidden land. More than 60 years ago, a disciple of Tai sect accidentally broke into it. When he finally came out, he had become the boss of nascent soul. 
Now he is the giant's. So I thought, if I can get even a little chance in the bloody forbidden land, I won't be a hindrance after I come out, right? At the end of the sentence, she smiled bitterly. Holding back. Judging from her tone and expression, Qin Yi guessed that she must have had further conflicts with Guan Cheng. Shang Guan Cheng should be preparing for the first sword debate now. If he can't take care of Xiao Qing Yu's petty emotions, he will easily think that the other party is making trouble unreasonably. The more a woman is at this time, the more she needs comfort. Once there is a lack of comfort, there is a high probability that he will be like her and his thoughts will start to go to extremes. Junior sister Ching Yu, how can you be the one holding us back? Your swordsmanship is very good, so you are definitely not the one holding us back. Xiao Ching Yu, senior brother Qin, if your junior sister Yi Yi from Kweju Peak always asks you to practice swordsmanship with her, will you find her annoying? Really, the fact that she could ask such a question just proved that Qin Yi's guess was correct. She seemed to be asking Qin Yi questions, but in fact she was also verifying her own questions. When faced with such an opportunity, of course Qin Yi would not miss it to add fuel to the fire between the two of them. How could it be? Speaking of which, it actually depends on whether there is affection between each other. Mutual affection. Well, for example, if junior sister Yi Yi and I don't know each other, and she pesters me every day and asks me to practice sword practice with her, then I will definitely annoy her. Xiao Qing Yu thought thoughtfully. Then what is senior brother Qin's so-called affection? Qin Yi slowly said, There are many kinds of love, including the blood love between brothers and sisters, the love between lovers, and the mutual help between friends. Roughly speaking, these three kinds of love are let's divide it, as long as there is one, it won't be a problem. In these words, he did not mention Shangguan Qing a word, but he never left Shangguan Qing. The love of blood, the love between men and women, the love of mutual help. If Shangguan Qing finds her annoying, it means that he has nothing to do with the above three sentiments. This was a severe blow to Xiao Qingyu. Xiao Qingyu's pretty little face turned white as expected, is this really the case? If you don't believe it, you can ask other people. Anyway, as long as these three sentiments are involved, there is basically no chance of being annoyed. Xiao Qingyu fell silent. She thought about the people around her, not only those who were far away, but those who were nearby. It seemed that when she practiced swordplay with Ji Yu Qingshuang before, whenever she asked questions about many details, Ji Yu Qingshuang would take the trouble to explain them to her. If according to Qin Yi's statement, then Ji Yu Qingshuang's feelings towards her were like mutual help between friends. In addition, Xiao Qingyu also has a wet nurse who raised her since she was a child. Although the wet nurse is a servant, the love of nurturing her for so many years is no different from that of her own mother. The wet nurse treats her, no matter when she was a child or now, as long as she has a request at home, the wet nurse will do her best to satisfy her. I have never found her annoying, and I have never said a word to her. And this can be regarded as, blood love. As for the love between lovers. So it really doesn't exist. Thinking of this, she laughed miserably. Her feelings had always been just wishful thinking. She has her senior brother in her heart, but her senior brother doesn't have her in his heart, so he finds her annoying. She suddenly bit her lip and made up her mind, I want to go to the bloody forbidden land. Are there many of you going together? Qin Yi asked. She shook her head, I'm going alone, and I don't plan to tell anyone else. Brother Qin, I told you, and I hope you don't tell anyone else. If I die in the bloody forbidden land, then let me die like this disappear quietly. After saying that, she stood up, and without waiting for Qin Yi to say anything, she flew away with her sword and left first. Qin Yi watched her leave and couldn't help but say in her heart, she is really a stubborn woman. Originally, he had set Xiao Qing Yu as his first choice in the near future to win love with a sword. And now that Xiao Qing Yu has decided to go to the bloody forbidden land, what should she do? Should I go too? If they go together, the two of them will have the opportunity to interact alone, and maybe they can be heroes and save the beauty. In that case, it will be very easy to win the other person's heart. But the danger level of the bloody forbidden land is no joke. System, do you know the bloody forbidden land? At this time, he was squatting by the river alone, blowing the cold wind on the river, and asking about the system. The gentle sister-in-law of the system quickly gave him a reply. The bloody forbidden land was a bloody battlefield 700 years ago. 
It was full of crises, but also full of opportunities. Can I go? If I go, I won't die, right? Chin Yi asked. Be gentle, Yu Jian. The host has the ultimate detection technique. As long as it is always turned on, it can avoid danger. As long as you increase your vigilance, you can go to the bloody forbidden land. Hey, the ultimate detection technique can actually be used in this way. After hearing this, Chin Yi's eyes suddenly lit up. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.